بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم hello everyone and welcome to this is football welcome to episode 70 of القهوة ladies and gentlemen welcome to episode 70 of القهوة حبيبيز and we're here um, and we're here to talk about the big one this Sunday Arsenal taking on Manchester City in the English Premier League uh, we're going to be talking about Liverpool's potential banana slip game against Brighton. Uh, the Zerbi has not yet, yet been beaten by Jurgen Klopp, so that could be a potential banana slip there. Um, Chelsea take on um, Burnley, which should be a relatively easy fixture. Uh, Spurs take on Luton, which should be a relatively easy fixture. Instead of us starting on time, Saad decided to spend the last five minutes of a stream talking about pancakes, because he's absolutely useless. But I know you guys in the chat aren't useless. 200 of you in here, slap the like button right now. Every single one of you guys right now slap the like button because I promise you today's show is going to be one hell of a show. We are going to be talking about everything. We are going to be talking about every single thing, every single game, every single topic, including previewing the biggest game so far this season, one of the title deciders. So let me introduce first and foremost, let me start with the corruption first so we can get it out of the way. The corrupt judge is here, ladies and gentlemen. The biggest corrupt judge on the planet, our favorite Inter fan on this entire platform, the man, the myth, the legend, man like footy judge Mo. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, people. This is your day, Arsenal fans. This is your day, Man City fans. But also, it's your day, Liverpool fans. The Zerbi might beat you and then coach you in about three months. That might happen. Look at how Sam's face when I said that. The guy's disgusting, bro. He's gonna throw up, bro. Allah, big up everybody that is here. You know what to do though. You like the video now because the target just now is 500 likes. And if you're watching this in the replay, I know you're gonna be watching and enjoying. So the first thing you do before you watch this in the replay is you like the video because you hate us, you like us, you just like the video, so you can watch more of us to hate on us or to enjoy more of us. So <laughs> like the video. Factos, big up to you, my guy Mo. Uh, joining us on the channel as well. Obviously, um, I think he has probably an easier game this weekend. Uh, I don't think he'd be screaming pot out after the game because they, obviously they'll be beating beating Burnley, in my opinion. Yani, but we'll get his opinions uh, on his football club soon and Clown Lake and all the protests going on. You know, we're going to discuss Chelsea a little bit today. Joining us on the channel, spam Kiwis in the chat. Man like Ziad is in the building. How are you doing, Zizu? Big up to everyone that's locked in, man. Big up Habibi Hussam and Mo, man. Big up to you lot, man. Make sure you guys are like and subscribe and show some love to the channel. Big up, listen, big up to Ali A, man. Big up in the comments already, man. Showing some love to my channel as well, man. Big up to everyone, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. In. It's going to be an interesting one. Big game this, uh, this weekend, man. Is, Yed, is, that your, is that your your brother's jersey or is your, your No, it's your oversized. It's, a, it's an old jersey, so it's oversized. Jer don't make me say jersey. I don't say jersey. It's an old kit. Okay, Kate, it's an okay, yeah. it's a, okay, Kate football shirt because this is yeah. 1994 Argentina. Yeah, yeah, I bought it. I bought it. You bought him from where? You weren't even born. Uh, Adidas relaunched it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. 1994. Man. My brother wasn't even born 1994. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Slip. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wow. Speaking the of second, easy the games, go, the second go, the second go. Terf Ziad, when you nah. first spoke, I thought you had a new microphone that's blue. Because Me you know too. When Wallah, you... yes. Same. You know, you know what? When you come close, la, la, when you come, when you first joined, the word yeah. Adidas wasn't showing. I thought you had the blue microphone that's new. Oh, like, oh man, listen, microphone. I'm not at that stage yet. Maybe, maybe yeah, if they, yeah. maybe if they subscribe and get me to a thousand, maybe, maybe, maybe if they get me to a thousand subscribers. Yeah, 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 let me let me say one thing. If they give it to a thousand subscribers, maybe I'll buy a blue mic. Maybe not. Maybe why? Here's the link to Ziad's zone. Go subscribe. Big up to let's big up to Aram. Big, big up, up to you guys. Um, joining us on the channel as well. I'm kind of introducing them. Easy game, easy games. You get me. As the easier the game. Uh, obviously, Luton Town uh, at home. If it was away from home, I'd give him. It's a bit of a tough game, but at the new White Hart Lane should be. Easy pickings for, for Tottenham Hotspur. I believe, I could be mistaken, that Van de Ven is back as well. So that bum at the back finally can get to the best centre-back back next to him at his club. Joining us on the channel, Billy Ray Cyrus. Bramwish! <laughs> Man like Jacob Yaqub is in the building. How are you doing, brother? Hello. Salam alaikum, everybody. Salam alaikum, y'all in the Salam. chat. Salam alaikum, y'all in the panel. What a day to be alive. How fortunate are we, huh? 
Um, <laughs> how fortunate am I? Luton are my next opponent, and hopefully it, to cure my woes. Look, uh, Fulham, there's no mistaking what happened there, but um, bring the Mad Hatters, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. We need some redemption. What is need some redemption in, in my life. What was you waffling about for real, bro? What? I really don't understand. What, what are you waffling about? <laughs> he is not waffling. You just said we're ready for the Mad Hatters. That's not oh, waffle. All right. This is this is the only non-waffle part. Before that, there wow. was. There you are. Are you calling Jacob a waffler? He's a professional waffler. He, yeah, he's part of. Yeah, but he's, the waff waffle. he's part of the wafflers. Some yeah, like somewhere on this platform on Staff TV. True. True. They, they are well, actually. No one they label, us as they, the wafflers. They we're label like them. They accepted <laughs> and labeled themselves to be part of that. So they. Just no, what it is that. is whenever you get a joke, whenever people use a certain type of banter so often, you lean in. Like Cuti Romero. Did I expect to defend Cuti Romero as much as I have against Spurs and rivals and non rivals and everybody around the world? No, but sometimes you find the shoe that fits your foot best. And guess what? We're up and running. So. All oh, right, then listen there to Joseph. Is. Anybody here? Big up, big up, Jacob. I like the fact he always has something smart to say. Uh, speaking always. of something smart to say, this guy has been begging Vel for the last three weeks. Oh my God, please change the thumbnail to me holding a coffee cup, uh, you know, so I can be with my coffee holding friends. I want a coffee wah, cup. Wah, wah, wah. You know, Arsenal fans, they always need validation anyway. They have like a validation type kink or some whatever the hell. This guy been begging Vel for the last month. Please, please put me drinking from a coffee cup. And, you know, spend the last 15 minutes of a stream talking about the pancakes and the Green Bay Packers or whatever the hell that hand egg shit that no one cares about is. Joining us on the channel, <laughs> the Moroccan fraud. Man like Saad is in the building. How are you doing? So, so, so firstly, firstly, guys, it's confirmed. Yeah, that Z, uh, that, uh, not Ziad. I want to talk about Ziad. Um, there you that are. Hussam, that Hussam free in your head. Hussam, Ziad, Hussam, Hussam, free. <laughs> no, no, Ziad's a G, bro. I would never cuss him. I was like, hold on. I had to stop myself. Never cuss Ziad. He's a G. He's a gangster. But I, just know, yeah, that Hassam and Vel can eat shit, yeah? Come on, merda. That's all it is. Anyway, listen, I told him to change that because who wears jean, jean shirts, bro? Like, is that even a thing? A jean jacket or whatever that guy had on, bro. I like denim, the white jumper that he has jacket. on now. What? Yeah, bro. Denim jacket that he has on, bro. Who wears a <laughs> denim jacket, bro? Not me, bro. I don't wear that. So he had to get he had to get something That's better. Denim jacket. You really don't know what that was? I don't know what that was, bro. That was a Starbucks but... employee shirt. <laughs> yeah, who goes to Starbucks, bro? Well, like once yeah. in my life, and I went through the drive through Once in my life, I've been to Starbucks, I went through the drive through bro. bro. And I then I got you. one of those things that called iced iced caramel latte. I was like, I was like, oh, nah, don't I confuse when shit. you said that? Oh, the way my he said God. it. First of all, we iced don't caramel latte. Guys. So we don't promote these guys for obvious reasons. You get me? No one, no one drinks from there anymore. You guys already know. No, why. no, but this was this was Fuck this Starbucks. was way way back. This was Everyone way back knows. when the when the Everyone hype. Knows. I, I, I like that, Starbucks. Jacob. I like now, that. Fuck Starbucks. Now, yeah, they don't, now, they don't sell uh, metal shorts. That's what now, I mean. fuck Starbucks. Now, fuck Starbucks, of course. 100%. But um, Since anyway. Since this guy want to run memes on me, let me show you the greatest dance of all time. Let's go, baby. Joining us on the channel is the man that spent the last five minutes trying to get memes off me. Whether it's Mexican or whoever, you guys need to stop memeing me. I live rent-free in your head. I'm not even on Twitter anymore. Is that Mexican, yeah? Hey, yeah. Mexican, the gangster. Whoever it is, you know, making these memes, you get me, you have to stop. <laughs> Joining us on the channel is the biggest hey. fraud on the YouTube platform that we all love. And to be fair to him, this is the first time in his life he was actually here on time. So I will give him credit. First Whoa. time ever. In Hamza history, he's actually on a stream on time. Joining us on the channel, the man, the myth, the legend, spam 115 in the chat right now. Man like Hamza is in the building. How are you doing, Hamza, bro? Yeah! I'm there. I'm here, man. I'm ready today. Today is going to be a good show. I'm looking forward to this. But that title has to change. You know that title, yeah? Because one thing we need to talk about today before the game, Wallahi, I have to give my opinion about Shabby Alonso and Liverpool. Wallahi, there's no way I'm turning up here and I'm not talking about that. 
Today I'm Zach, can I make you a promise? Can I make you a promise? I can promise I you I'm not going to talk about it. Okay, Hamza, 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 what's the case? What? Can you not run my word, Hamza? I promise I'll let you talk about it. I promise. No, no, Hamza, hear me out. I'm a man. I promise you in front of all the 500 people here, you will get to talk about Chabi Alonso and Liverpool. But beginning. Deal? We start beginning. Deal? No, no, but we have to start because with Because that's a hot topic. Begin. It's a topic now. No, no, no. Hamza, Hamza, listen to me, listen to me. Hamza, Come on, man. I gave you my word as a man. We're going to no, talk about Chabi Alonso. No, man. Yeah, I gave you my word. But you have to talk yeah, about Arsenal no. City because it's the bigger occasion, yeah. It's normal. La ilaha illallah. Let me run my show. 15 minutes left. Let no, no, but, but we don't, we, uh, Hassan, I'll, I'll be real. You can warm up to the game because yeah. this has to be the final okay, sad, moment. Sad. That has Let to be the climax of the stream. Okay, so sad, I'll ask you a general we question need to speak right about that. that. Anyway, question. As a Muslim in Ramadan, don't lie. Do you honestly believe Chabi Alonso rejecting Liverpool is, is no, no, big we need to. Let's not than Arsenal going talk to the about that. No, no, City? No, I, no, no, I'm not saying it's more important. You didn't listen to what I said. I said that can be the opener. That can be the opening thing that we speak about. That's you, you don't, you don't, you don't just go straight. You don't just go no, straight no, no, to no, the, the, the main course. Straight. You do the starter. You know, you know, you know, you know why we go straight. Let me tell you why we go straight. Because it's Ramadan. As soon as, as soon as the guy says Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, we eat directly. <laughs> So you can hold well, that. Anyway, let me go to the super chat. Well, let me go to the super chat before we get started. <laughs> guys, you guys know how the show is. This is episode 70 of Allah. You guys ain't new to this. You guys know how active we are on the stream. So I don't want to keep interrupting us. Oh my God, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. I want you guys to like and subscribe right now. Right now. This is you watching us. I'm going to do the more thing. You get me? I want you to hit this X button right here. Hit this like button. Let's get to 200 likes ASAP. There's 500 people in here. Um, let me just go to the super chats before we um, start the stream. Big up to Ray Ray who says, I hope Bayern win the league and we batter Leverkusen in the final. Oh. My top three choices are Amarim, Tuchel and Nagelsmann. Hussam, respect Tuchel. Brother, how can I respect a manager that is about to bottle a league title with Bayern Munich that me and Hamza can win the league with Bayern Munich? How, how is this a thing? If me and you know Hamza were respect? Bayern Munich manager, we will win the league. Have some shit. You know how much respect you know how much true. respect I have for Tuchel, Ryan? About 16 out of 10. Have some respect. Oh. Have some respect. You went there. Respect. You went there. Damn. Okay. I discovered Damn. it last night, bro. I was laughing so much on Flawless's channel. Question for you from Luke. Hamza, what shampoo do you use? Listen, head and shoulder, David Ginella used to David Ginella used to be an expert player, and he used to play that. That that shampoo, a light advertisement. Google it. Shout out to Nola you, every time. Put YouTube David Ginola like head and shoulders. Yeah, that's what I use head and shoulders. That's why it's shiny. What do you use, Jacob? Because the question is for you. Uh, it's my wife's. Ah, not sure. Oh. I've never looked at the name. <laughs> Jacob's funny. <laughs> this explains it. Hamza is it through <laughs> your sponsor by them. <laughs> Are they paying you money? And then he says, Hamza's the Easter egg. You're such a fraud, Allah, look. Man called Hamza the Easter egg. You're such a I fraud. Have, my my head doesn't look like an Easter egg. I have some shame, Allah. I have some shame. Anyway, listen. Let's get this party started. 500 people in the chat. Habibis, let's rock and roll. Actually, before we rock and roll, one more from Daniel says, the panel is 16-10. Even Jacob the Tottenham fraud. Hey, shout out to the, the Jacob the Tottenham we fraud. Our favorite fraud. You get me? We all love. Jacob, he's a massive part of the stream, and you know, he ain't <laughs> ever gonna leave Allah. So cry more. We love him. Big up to, to, to you, my guy Danny. Um, anyway, party started, all of that good stuff. Hamza, talk to me. Arsenal come to the Etihad. Talk to me your thoughts on the game. Um, as Saad went for a shit and he's about to come back. Talk to me, brother. What are you saying? 16 yeah. minutes is a new record, by the way. Uh, I think listen, it's a big game, but I think Arsenal fans are scared. Arsenal fans are worried. You guys are trying to play this game to try oh, and You're lying, bro. You're, you're scared. Oh, shit. You're, you're trying. You're all doing Why it. You're right? all doing it. Terrace is doing it. Hussam's doing it. You're trying to baby them. Like, Why are you, you know lying? What? It's so sad. Like, lie, you're like, it's so shameful that people are babying these guys. Like, yo. Who's okay? babying us? Bro, Who's babying us? Like, don't worry. Arsenal Actually, you know what? Oh, Arsenal is this. Oh, no, ask no. this, but bro. Yeah, we let Hamza speak. Oh, Let's okay. speak. Leopard doesn't change its spots. Remember mm -hmm. that. That's one thing. I grew up in Kenya. Yeah, leopards are the same. They don't change. You can. They don't hide. You can see them from far away. Arsenal can't change their spots. 
Yeah, they come into Etihad. Yeah, this is the weakest Man City team since since Pep, since Pep Guardiola took over. This is our worst midfield. Worst mid. And I told I told this law frauds. And people started saying, no, it was not. When Pep Guardiola came there, it was worse. I named them the players I had. I named them the players I had, Wallahi. I had Leroy Sane and Sterling on the wing. I had David Silva. I had Fernandinho. I had Kevin De Bruyne. I had Yaya Toure. I had elite players, class from everywhere. Gabriel Jesus was there, that you love now. He was there. I had even the Fernando that dunked on who? That, who You're comparing was, Gabriel Jesus to Fernando. No, no. I had Fernando no, no, he's in mentioning midfield. him. He's mentioning the Fernando, him. Random, Fernando, the random Fernando bro, like. <laughs> that made Mourinho cry this summer for Roma. He dunked on Mourinho, 838. Dunked on Mourinho in Europe. When did this happen, final. Hamza? Fernando, I had the bro. This team. When did this happen? Who did he play for? Fernando. He played for Sevilla. Wait, Fernando, the former, the, the bald guy that used to play for City in midfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Dr. Mourinho, man. They were like he plays for Sevilla. No way. He plays for Sevilla, man. Yeah, my boy. Oh <laughs> my God. Oh, father. he has hair now. That's why I didn't recognize him. He has hair. <laughs> so, see the song say, Hussam, I had a better team than than this this is the weakest city side that we have no doubt everyone will say that Kovacic he's from he's been injured for a long time he's a good player Nunes is from Wolves uh Doku he's still young uh we've had a player that's come back from injury Kevin De Bruyne we've got injury we're hearing rumors and which is now apparently it's true yeah Two of our players, key players, have pulled out. John Stones, Carl Walker, son. They're key. They start. They're starters. It's like me saying, I'll take out Ben White. Yeah, it's way better than Ben White. Ben White, and I'll take out Saliba. What would happen? Also, fans will cry. Oh, my God. I got injury. They had one injury, Rob Holding. They were crying. I'm expecting not to cry. I come out here. With chest. Yeah? That's the difference. That's the difference. I think this game, if I'm an Arsenal player, I think Arsenal players are, are worried. They're scared. Wallahi, I'll be honest with you. For some, you be honest. If you're Arsenal players, you played Man City, it's the most scariest ground to go to. It's more scary than the Burnabout, Etihad. Fact. 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 Why Madrid? Why did Madrid fans start making? Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, so Manchester City! Manchester City! Oh! I'm thinking, hey, fire! <laughs> Come on, stand up now. Sit on your chair. Madrid fans were on the floor. I thought, ooh, ooh. Even Rishi Sunak from England thought, ah, oh, wow. Hamza's boys are dangerous. They gave football heritage guys on the floor. Reaction. I never thought Madrid would do that. You know, Zinedine Zidane said, so, oh, told you, oh, pull out your trousers. You're Real Madrid, man. This because they know Madrid. Etihad is a dangerous place. You know Etihad? Etihad is like Masai Mara in Kenya. It's like me taking you to Hussam. I take you to Masai Mara. You know Masai Mara is a dangerous place in Kenya. And I put you there. Lions, leopards, cheetahs, they live there. So you get eaten. You're going to get eat. <laughs> you say, I'm to take me back. I don't want to go here. Etihad is dangerous. It's wildlife in the cave. People should be take, telling. People, people are telling children of Real Madrid kids about Etihad when they go to sleep. Oh, mommy, let me go to sleep. No, I'm playing Etihad in two weeks. Mommy's like, yo, take Piriton, go to sleep. You're still going to play them. They're coming to the most intimidating stadium in the world. In the world. I don't want just. No one knows. Everyone knows. You come there, you get thumped. If you live with the draw, you're happy. Look at Sam. 
When Trent go and Nicola Sam was jumping up, oh, I can't believe it. It's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's an opportunity. We're playing Arsenal. Pep Guardiola will know, and he will know how to motivate them. You tell them, I know you, I know Hamza, we haven't got Gandawan. I know we haven't got Mares. I know we haven't got Stones. I know we haven't got Walker, Hamza. Hamza by Etihad. Hamza, it's currently March 30th and you're still talking about Gundogan. No, Gundogan's left, I know. So. It's March 30th. Yeah, I know. Actually, there's two months I'm left of the Wallah season and you still mention so Gundogan. Yeah. Wallah, I miss him. Wallah, I miss him. Wallah, I miss him so much. Wallah, I miss him so much. But... Hassan, you let me down. You didn't play the clip. You let me down. Great player, but it's March 30th. It's literally March 30th, Hamza. There's two months Hussam. left of the season and you're still talking about Gundogan. Yeah, when are you going to stop mentioning Gundogan it's name? Yeah. Hussam, you let us down. Is Play the clip, Play the clip, man. Play the clip. I want you back, Bro, I wish I had Thierry Henry right now. Oh, Thierry Henry up front. Yeah, oh, I can't if we had rid of him. Oh. Us, we win the we win the league. Every time I miss Gandogan, I miss Gandogan, I miss Gandogan. Oh, it's, like like it's like an ex. It's like an ex. You write a letter and say I miss I'll you. I even allow the others to, to chime in. No, no, one second. I'll even allow the others to chime in. You are the biggest excuse maker in this whole platform. You know why you give the monologue at the start? You cook sad and even Mo and Ziad and Jacob, and me, and Staffy, and tell us all, never make excuses. You always use excuses. You always say excuses. And you have given the, the op your opening monologue is, we don't have Gandogan, we don't have Mares, Stones is injured. When I had all those injuries, what did you tell me? Don't make excuses. Why are you making excuses with a 1.5 billion pound squad? I'm not making excuses. <laughs> Ah, Gandogan, March 30th, yeah. Yeah, March, it's March, yeah. It's March, oh, yeah. Allah, 115 Allah, excuses. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Sad, they're, they're threatening you. I'm not going to read the super chats, but they're threatening you, huh? They've had enough of Hamza already. Yeah, hey, Gundogan. this guy's a fraud. This guy's a fraud. I'm going to finish him today, bruv, because this guy is talking shit. Anyway, let me let him finish. Are you done? Oh, Are you done? Hamza, or there's more excuses about Gandogan and Maras, and you, and you miss company. And you miss David Silva, and you miss Aguero. Who else you miss, Habibi? Tell me. We can we can talk about this. You know, I miss Suarez and Gerard. Wallahi, I miss them. You know, I wish Ma Suarez Martin. Hey, Martin, 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 Martin was like bobblehead is so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a great game. <laughs> Arsenal have got full squad, nearly, yeah. and we've got, and, and I think it's a must win for us. It's a weaker um. city side. And I think it's embarrassing for the Premier League that the weakest city side that we're saying, what a disaster they've had. They've drawn to Ziyad twice. Yeah. They drew to, to Spurs. Yeah. Spurs. Yeah. Spurs with MSN Royale at the back. And Ben, who's the other guy? Ben Davies, was it? Ben Davies, the captain of Wales. Ben Davies. Just Send to him to Europe, Wales uh, now. Send him to Wales now. Now. Wales. He's a criminal. Ooh. He is a criminal. Aston Villa. <laughs> City lost so many games with some that it's it's shocking. They still won. Boy, we just so it's a must win. Yes, game. yes. You spent it's a must win game. It's a must win. You shame. You spent 250 million pounds in the summer to tell us, yeah, we have a weak squad, uh, and uh, it's a shame for the Premier League. And I miss Gundogan. Point. And 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 I miss Gundogan. And it's shame on the and Premier League Martin. that we are one point behind the league leaders when we spent only 250 million pounds. We're very sorry for ourselves. And I miss Masri. I know. My God, uh, where is Adi Bayor? I miss and, Vincent. Anyway, company. you know, you know, <laughs> you know what? Listen, I'm gonna go because I think Hamza is just uh, Hamza is running in circles now. He's in a corner yeah. and he's just in circle. He cornered himself. The That's fact, it. the f yeah, yeah, the fact he, he cornered himself there with that whole monologue, bro. It's he crazy. Stop eating. I'm still. The fast. fact, the f <laughs> the fact that he that Hamza speaking like this, guys, tells me he is absolutely shitting himself. He's shook. No. Because he's like, oh my god, I'm coming into this game. I don't have uh, Mr. Mr. John Stones, who is a valuable member of their squad. Yeah, an experienced member of their squad. Walker, I'm not even gonna chat too much about him. Walker's been trashed this season. Let's let's just 
call a spade a spade. He's been trashed this season. Well, yeah? How many games has he now, had this season? Yeah, he relaxed, bro. He's been subpar in half the games that he's played, bro. But how many I've games I've seen? Has he had I've seen people season? go past him. I've seen people go past how, him. How many wolves. games? Show me wolves. The game. wolves, wolves, wolves. He was awful wolves. in wolves. Are you actually arguing that? Actually, what are you talking about, wolves? Oh, look at this. Are you look actually arguing tried... that? He tried to do Huang it. was on Walker's side. Anthony Gordon oh. was on Walker's side. I could go on and on and on. Anthony Gordon, Don't yes. Anthony Hamza. Gordon and Wang Hee Chan. Wang Hee Chan. Martinelli when Brennan, him. Oh, when Brennan Johnson sent in um the the game tying cross, it was also from the left hand side. So that would there be Kyle Walker as well. Yeah, that got beat by Brennan Johnson. But then Jusko Vardio also did get beat by Brennan Johnson no, as no, well. Was Jacob, who was it who scored the header? The last goal. LeBron goal. James. It was Kulisevsky. Ake. Ake. Kulisevsky scored the header against Walker. Kulisevsky. No, 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 no. It was Ake. He no, no, no. He, he, he so dunked on Aki. He, no, Hassam. He dunked on yeah. Aki, but, but Kyle Walker allowed the cross to be. The, the best way to stop a cross a, a header in the box like that is preventing the cross altogether. Bro, and Kyle Walker did fail to do that. I can't lie, we're sitting here making excuses for this Walker guy. Yeah, just like it was just put in the chat. Luis Diaz made this guy go do hella interviews after, bro. Talking about real life. He was like, Okay, I need to stay after he got spun that one time. Yeah. And if Luis Diaz wasn't a bozo, he would actually scored in that in that game. Yeah, but man sent Walker to the absolute store, bro. I'm talking ankle break. I'm talking about I'm talking about ankle breakers, ankle breakers in NBA 2K. You know when you break his ankles in NBA 2K and the player just goes back like that and falls over. That's what happened. Bro, so Walker's dead, sad. sad. Walker's he, dead. Even Sterling had him on the skates, bro. Bro, he's dead. Well, Sterling food, had him bloody on the food. floor. Hamza, sorry, bro. I want you to Crazy. win on Sunday, but no. Walker's not a loss. That guy's no, dead. No, 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 he's, either way, that guy's dead. Either, either way, either way, listen, getting onto my team and speaking about my team, this is the most confident I've been going to the Etihad in five to six years. And I'm not saying that we're going to go over there and it's a definite win. You can never say that with City. So why do you say you're still They're still mm -hmm. a very good... I agree with him, so why do you say I'm, that then? So why are you saying you're confident? confident. Why are you contradicting us? Yourself? Guys, you're guys, please relax. Hamza, relax, calm down, man. Why are you raising your voice? Why are you raising your voice? Why are you raising your voice? You tell him. Why are you raising your voice? He said, I'm very <laughs> confident. Now you I didn't say I'm but... I didn't say I'm very confident. This is where you don't listen. I said this is the most confident I've been going to, to city. To going to city. This to is the most confident what? I've been. No, going to city <laughs> as a game, bro. So you never <laughs> So you anyway, to see, like, I saying, say, like, I like I was saying, like I was saying, like I was saying, Hamza, relax, man. I know you're rattled, bro. I don't know what happened to you since since John Stones and Walker got got put out, bro. Uh, you've been a mess, bro. I saw you on troops' this thing moving hella messy, bro. Then you are my thing, and it was a mess. And then now you're on here, and you're oh. a mess, bro. You get it together, bro. Get it together, man. Come on, man. We got to be professional now, bro. Don't let the ops know already. Don't let the ops know your next move, bro. <laughs> if they know you're weak, you're finished. But I think going into this game, listen, we we we're going into this game with Gabriel back. Um, Saka is back. Martinelli is the real risk. He is the only risk. And the fact that Walker's not playing. I need Martinelli to be fit, bro. I need him to be fit, bro. Just his pace alone. Going up Sad, against the Kanji or to say this. Sad, I respect you saying this, but you know why Hamza can't say this? Because why? he calls Saka Charles and Zogbia. He says Gabriel is the reason why Brazil concede goals every time Brazil concedes a goal. He I calls Mart he insults Martinelli week in, week out. He, he talks about uh, you know Odegaard's hair flicks. So according to Hamza, he shouldn't be worried about any of these players. Am I right 100%. or am I wrong? How many no, times have 100%. you heard him say all no. Mo, you and Saad the biggest fraud. You Why? made a combined 11 of not single city players go in. You are so shameless. So Why are you lying? I'm expecting Arsenal to win because you fraud made a combined 11 and none of my players go in. You put Declan Rice ahead of Rodri. You never took our players. You, you took out their right back. You took Odegaard. You put Declan Rice. You said Saka was there. You put Salah is there, and you put a front on the Watkins. Okay, now, fantastic. So let me ask you. Let me let me let me come back to this. Let me let me come back to this. 
I think from my understanding from you that you're saying that we made that so Arsenal are the strong the stronger team. <laughs> we agree, right? We agree. No, no, that good. What about we agree? So we agree. We all agree that Arsenal are the strongest, strongest, stronger team than you right now. What about the Etihad? Or is it the empty hat? Does it have any weight in this game? Or did mm. you agree no, that no, no, the Etihad didn't have any weight in this game? You think they're better than us? I am I've saying got... they're better than you, but yeah. there's the Etihad. But I think it's the Hamza, answer the question. Does the Etihad have any weight here? Etihad is the most intimidating stadium. For, so why? For me, so why? Okay. So how come you're fraud and you're saying the Arsenal must win if they are coming to the most intimidating? Uh, you know what? No, I, I'm not fraud. The fraud is. It's not it, about how strong they no, are. Second. It's about the, your ground. No, you exactly. went. You went to Anfield with a depleted Liverpool team. Yes. And you only you script a draw. Again, it's Liverpool. You script a draw because it's Anfield. Liverpool no, no, fans. No, I said it was a disaster. I called it a disaster. I never because, celebrated but, that yeah. draw. But because you it, never but, said but because it's I don't Anfield, know why they never celebrated. But the logical people, which are not you, <clears throat> said that because it was Anfield. Wow. No, I never. Absolutely. Listen to me. But because That's it was Anfield, it's a fair result. Right? And it's then man said, "No, I never." <laughs> no, was it? But more said, I'm the Habibi. most shameless I'm because the of I am not shameless. We <laughs> well, have the well, same well. energy for everyone, Hamza. No. When people go to Anfield, they aren't favorites. When people go to the Bernabeu, right, they aren't favorites. When people yeah. go to the Etihad, they aren't favorites. So why do you want to put pressure no, on no. Arsenal no, now? Not, if the they way are coming to your ground, are you calling yourself minions? No, no, I are know you who I am. your ground as an I, empty ground? No, I know who I am. I know who I am. As a, as a football club, I know I'm a European champion because you gave me the cha first Champions League that I've ever yeah, had. Okay. So Without you that Champions League, you are a champion. Never gave me. You are I've a never, champion. I've never spoken down to everyone this year. No, but because but you of are, you, you are a champion. Guy, don't, don't you're giving me press to Don't look down deflect everyone. to enter. So, don't deflect to enter. And, no, no, you aren't running away so with I'm this. Saying, we aren't I'm saying, letting you run away I'm with expecting to be Arsenal. They're minors. They've never won the league in 20 now, years. Now we're talking. They've now we not won the league in now 20 years. Finally. Finally. Now we're talking. Finally. Finally. Oh, my God. Please. Alhamdulillah. We got there, guys. Anything. We got All these That's fans true. here. Oh, my God. I've never seen them. I've never seen them. Combined the 11th, top of the league. Oh. He kept doing this and that. So I, I wanted this out of you. Have you ever seen us win the league? Hold on. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. But anyway, what, what, what? Hamza, what is I'm what sure. is your thought on us? What's your thought on us? Yeah, relax, man. Act like I'm freaking 20, 21 or 20, bro. Uh, what is your thought on Arsenal? Give us your, your feelings towards Arsenal, Arsenal and, good, and how they are how they Arsenal are in are how team. they are in this game. Arsenal are a good team. Yeah. The way they perform this season is good, but they're things that I've already picked up from. The poor game showed me signs. Porto game showed me. There is fear. These guys are fearful of others. They've got PTSD. Their fans don't trust them. These guys were that shameless. They had to beat Porto on penalties. That's a red flag. I'm thinking, round of 16, I know more beat Atletico. You cannot be doing knees like them beating people on penalties. So I'm thinking, yo, these guys are, might be, these guys are scared. I've beaten them before. They come into my games. All their mm -hmm. fans are celebrating about my injuries. Walker's not playing. Stone's not playing. So the, and when I ask their fan base, what are you going to do? This guy starts coming out here. I'm confident. Confident is the first time in history I've been confident for six years. But he can't elaborate to do what? But you, what? But you didn't. No, no, but you no. didn't. He's not confident about but Hamza, it. Hamza, this is the thing. Like when I said, when I said, this is the I'm most thinking, that I'm confident. No, we should take this is the most confident I've been. Hamza, Hamza, when I said this is the most confident I've been, this is the most confident I've been that we're gonna give you a game. Every time we've gone to the Etihad, anytime anybody huh? goes to the Etihad, anytime that anybody goes to the Etihad, they they try to give you a game. They Sad, try to you win can't the be game. That as well. What the hell is giving you a game? No, no, what kind of no, no. Is that? No, no, now you're just, bullshitting. There you are. Relax, there you are. relax, relax. There you are. Relax, relax. You relax. 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 There you are. I think there you are. Game. What the hell? Jameless. No, no. You are. Based on previous, you didn't realize you're a Christian Palace game, fan. Based, no, hold on. Based on no, previous no, games, no, no, yeah. No, 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 don't do Based that. Based on previous don't, games, wait, sad, sad. We have don't been do that. Don't do that. You're the most shameless. Even last season. 
we got spanked. Sad. So Sad. this season, we're actually it's going to be a close game. That's what I'm saying. Right. Oh my God, and we are underdogs. Can we can't win oh the league. We are the underdog. I need, I need, I need, oh I, need I need ten points ahead of Man City. I need ten points ahead of Man City to win the league. Well, well, I am an well, underdog. Can someone oh cover me, please? Lord. I'm really an underdog. The of the league, I can't mistake. win the league. Oh my you God, know, I'm an underdog. Running See, around the internet, stuff. running around the internet. I'm with you. Let me you talk. Don't have let me, uh, Sam, let me talk. talk but when more. sad, when sad goes and say, I'm going to the Etihad, the ground that they have not been beaten since 2022, right? We're 2024, right? Hussam tells him have some chest. Well, Hussam, I'm on top of the league. I have the easiest run. Oh my God, I'm an underdog. I need Tim. Who has the easiest run? Why you're telling Sa to have chess, but you don't have it, Yaki? Why? I'm gonna say none of y'all got an easy run because all of y'all. Wait, have who to are play you talk talking? Who is Mo talking to? I'm talking about Hassan calling you out oh. for saying that you're gonna give them a Hussam. game and that's your most confident. Uh, that's your most confident. But he goes around the internet on every single show saying I'm an underdog. You can't have it both. Spam <laughs> shame. To me, bro. You can't have Spam it both, Hassan. Okay. He is going to the Hussam. Hussam, he's going to the Etihad, Yaki. He is the underdog in this game, Arsenal. He's going to the eight, no matter how injuries are. Okay. Man City Mo, haven't lost the no game agenda. for ages. Mo, can I respond? No agenda. Yeah, it's fun, I Habib. agree. Arsenal are underdog of the Etihad. Everyone is underdog of the Etihad. No problem. I accept that. That's 100% correct. However, this is the difference between me and Saad. I've been saying all year long, Liverpool won't win the league. Correct or no? All of you have have heard it. I, 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 this hasn't changed lately. You can all vouch. Hussam has been saying Liverpool won't win the league. You know what Sad has been saying? Full screen. Let me see it. Bro, say that again with your chest. I believe my gaffer. He will win this league for me. And what happens so, if he doesn't? What? Oh my gosh! I believe my gaffer. He will win this league for me. And Mo, let me tell you the problem. He calls out Hamza. For giving excuses, and then what's sad sentence? Let's just talk about sad sentence. Forget what other so, Arsenal so fans. Give me my sentence, sentence then. No, 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 no. One second. This is his sentence. I'm confident we're gonna go to Etihad and give them a game. A what? good no, no. Well, what? I imagine that's oh, sad. What? Oh, give sad. them a game. It's, it's, wild, gonna, so it's gonna be no, no. Because when no, I say give them a game, when I say no, no, when I say give them a game, sad, sad. Wait, don't fall for it. They wanna clip you again. They I clipped know they two months me. ago. I know, know yeah, baby. I know. But these guys act like I'm saying, oh my God, um, uh, if we can make it out of there uh, with them only scoring one goal against us and this and that. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying it's going to be a close game. But for if once you lose, is he in a the failure? last five years. You know, you know, you if, 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 you if, 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 if we If we lose, it's not as bad as if you lose. Oh, that's that's oh, the reality oh, of the situation. That's the reality of the situation. That's the reality of the situation. Okay, no, no. I, my 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 personal my personal preference. Sad, sad, who has a tough run? Sad, your city. Sad, who has a tough run? What do you mean? Who has a tough run in the last ten games? You or City? Sad, us. Hundred percent. So who has it worse if City lose? But no, no, because is, because they because they what because what because what? because, because, they, because oh what? the points yeah, yeah, because can you relax guys, because can you relax Hamza please because you came in and you started talking oh, about <laughs> Gundogan and started okay. talking about Walker and started talking yeah. about uh, whatever his name is John Stones yeah the fact that they're gonna be five points or whatever it is behind us bro that's gonna be difficult for Chelsea to get like let's let's not let's not be shameless here bro it's it's gonna be difficult for them to get out of that. But Chelsea, what are you on about? Um, what Man City, mean, sorry, Man City. Oh, wow. Man City. Oh, he's head. He's bro, head. listen, listen. Bro, he's bro, listen. I can't, I can't tell he's the difference. I can't him. tell the difference between criminals. I can't. They're all the same to me, bro. All criminals are the same. You are, so. No matter what happens, they're all yeah, the same. Man, you but either not, way, it's hard. It's well, harder for Man City to get out of that than it is for us. In my personal opinion, anyway, but that's Sad. not me saying. That's not Sad. me saying that I don't think we're if gonna go not, there and if win. Man City beat you at the Etihad. Man City are winning this lead. Are you are in league? Are you aware of this? Yes, yes, I think so. So how's it worse for them? That's what I'm saying, bro. 
No, no, but no. it's worse if they lose. If they lose, if you it's lose worse than, than us. Maybe. Who's because I think there's still, there's still a chance. No, no, but what I'm saying is it's worse for them because I don't think there's a chance they're going to catch us and Liverpool. But if Why we everybody's lose, talking if, if Arsenal lose, lose? If Man City lose, they are four if, points behind two teams. Why, they're what done. are you talking about? This is this is this is why I don't understand, bro. We're behind two points and we're behind three points of Liverpool. So we can still, if Liverpool lose a game and if City lose a game, we can go in front of them. Yeah, but Saad, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're I don't think points, I don't think he's changing. They need anything, to, they need us to lose team. two games. We're both asking, of us. If you lose both this game, us. is he a disaster if you lose this game? Is he a disaster? No, it's not a disaster. There you are. There you are, Saad. He's got a tough running. And if he loses his game, what is it? Is not what is the, no, it's no, but what is the disaster? What is the bro, disaster? We can still catch you guys. We're still in the title race, bro. bro we're, top the we're top of the league. We're top of the league. And yes, yes, I fully Liverpool have got that. easy running. I fully understand Liverpool have got experienced yeah, manager. Okay. If, we're talking, if, we're talking about, if we're talking about the easy run-ins, you got the easiest running out of the three. No, let's, let's be realistic. Yes, yes, 100% no, agree, you do. 100% you do. So please, relax. After this but game. After all, this game. After yes, game. after this game. Yeah, after, after this game. I mean, they have two games, yeah. most of but, to yourself. Either, Talk about yeah, but after away. this game, not including this game. I don't I'm believe the Aston Villa away. one. I don't believe the Aston Villa. I don't believe the Aston Villa. Anyway, we're getting off track. Um, but what I said, what I meant when I said that this is the Can most you explain what you mean, giving them a game? What the hell is that? No, no, it's going to be a competitive game that it could go either way. The game they could go lie. either to Manchester City. How's that it could go to. No, no, but I'm just saying that is better than what it's been, bro. I still think that we can go out there and win, Sad. of course. Sad, do you want to hear my opinion? All right I'm now? saying he, is that let me, it's let me tell you my opinion. Game. He's like and a palace, man. Let me tell you my One second. Clip me right now. I'll put myself full screen. Clip me. Val, you can put this on the intro. Put Manchester City are not beating Arsenal this Sunday. Arsenal either draw or beat Man City. Done. The last. Easy. What is the sad? Oh my God, we're going to give them a game. Talking like you support fucking Fulham. <laughs> yeah, he is. Some don't believe. Bro, they don't believe. Bro, you believe you in can, hold on. You said they don't believe in Hassan, their players. Hassan, Hassan, I told you before. In, in, your, in, your, in, your time, you. in your time, in your time, going to the Etihad, would you even say that you're definitely going to win? No, no, but I said wouldn't. we're gonna. No, draw. you wouldn't. We're gonna draw, and it was a draw. Yes, that's fine. You didn't even ask me for what my what my outcome of the game was. You didn't even no, ask for the outcome of the game. The You're just going exactly. You see, look at this fraud. Look at him smiling now because he didn't even ask me for no, the outcome. If you ask me for that, if you ask exactly, so if you ask me for the outcome, and then I said to you, "Yeah, we're gonna lose," then I'd accept you calling me a coward. Why are you well, you didn't ask me for my outcome. No, no, because he's a fraud. Hassan okay, tries to you know put what? it on here. Let's, he tries to put, mm. Let me put myself on no, screen. Let's let's do a let me put spoiler for the position screen. section. What We're the definitely outcome? winning. Bro, uh. what the hell was that? Allah, so Hassan okay, would why never speak like that. Like that. Hassan, yeah. Hassan would never speak like that when it was Liverpool going to the Etihad. Never in his life. Okay. You should have seen this guy the game before. Sad, okay, sad. sad. When, the, when, they, when they before. came back. Two, two weeks ago, was I not the only Liverpool fan who said it's a must-win game against City? Yeah. And everyone was saying it's okay to draw. Be honest, man. Sad. You worked with me long enough. Did I not say uh, we have to beat them? Say the truth, Sad, right now. Did I not but say it? Yes, yes, you did. Yeah, I did well, say it. This is almost fault, man. We... But yeah, for Sam. no, Why because but I, see, I see Mo. Mo loves taking pressure off Arsenal. Oh, my city better team. My no, no, city's why, money. Listen, why Arsenal, there, are you in the title? The one second. What, what are you the, in the title race or not? Are you going to win this league or not? Let him talk, Sam. No, no, one second. Okay, are you in the title right. race or not? Have you signed 70 million Kai Havertz 300 grand a week to help you win the league or not? Have you signed 105 million declarations to help you win the league or not? I love this rubbish. We're going to go. We're going to give them a game. Oh, it's my city. They're the better team. Win the league or not. You're either here or you're not. Okay? None of this is for Gazi. Oh, we might win. We might finish second. If we finish second, it's okay. We got next year. No. You're going to win or you're going to not win. Simple as that. Have some bloody fraud. Hold it, bro. If you draw, it's really you're a fraud. You you're a fraud. fraud. Still, I can explain to you why you're a fraud. This, because this if I ask you now, because if I ask you now, who's the better team? Putting everything in the picture there, them going to the Etihad, right? Who would you expect to win the games here? Guys are I would expect City, but I wouldn't be surprised if Arsenal won. I'm the same. Oh, yeah. favorite, same? Right? I would not be. I would not be surprised. Be surprised. Arsenal Arsenal What's the percentage? It's not. It's not. What's unexpected. the percentage? What's the percentage Oof. of the winning? What's the percentage between City and Arsenal to win? Probably. 60, okay, Sad. Can I give you an honest answer? For me personally, yes. 
ارسنال وين؟ بروبلي 60% درو 40% 0% الحمد لله I love it when Hussam does that. No, I love it when Hussam does that. He says zero percent for City. That's great. Zero percent for City. I mean, City. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you just ask me? If City, are we? Are we just? They are not beating Arsenal on Sunday. I am telling you, it's a hundred percent, a hundred percent a draw. Saad can say that. And then, what is this? I, no, no, it's got draw written all over it. Both teams can can't afford. I actually think we can go win that. Anyone can. I, say. I actually think. Look, we can look. Go win. I, I just want to offer my two on. two cents here. That I think that this is a match Arsenal can't afford to lose. This is a match City can't afford to lose. So I agree with Mo. I think it's inevitable that this is going to be a draw. They're both going to be too afraid to lose it. I think, and they're both not going to be brave enough to go and win it. Um, but I, to say that City has zero percent chances, Sam. Um, I appreciate you doing that because when you do that, what happens is usually that other team does exactly what you get. Yeah, just like I said, do. you're going to get a draw at the Etihad and you got one. Just like I said, Palace are going to get a draw at the Etihad and they got one. Just like I was predicting three quarters. Of the... Bro, don't act like I, do... like I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to the city shit. That's the one club I, I hate. My soul cannot stand. This Sunday, Jacob. The same but you get it wrong school. with Arsenal all the time. You get yeah, you overhyped Arsenal you're, all season. You've been jock riding on Arsenal all season. All season. Fact, I remember, when, I remember hey, when Tottenham were going to the Emirates. You were like, "Oh, if they play Ainge ball and they play progressive ball, they will get they will at four one is what you predicted, I believe." Why are you talking correctly. like I'm Russian? My name's not Husamov. <laughs> <laughs> I sounded like a Call of Duty villain there, Makarov. You know, from Modern Warfare Two. <laughs> we are gonna kill you all. Like that's not that's that's what Russian, that's bro, eliminate. Bro. You all. No, it was a very horrible impression, but my point remains the same that you predicted you, like, with Arsenal, you've gotten the opposite. Things, you, you are right about City. I will tell you that you have been right about City, but you've well. also been wrong about Arsenal. So something's okay, got to give here. Playing well, City. On a real. Well, they allow Sorry. a lot of chances. I will put it that way. They allow everybody to get after them. But I think at this point, this is the nut up or shut up time. And they've shown time and time again when their back's against the wall, what do they do? They climb, okay, <laughs> and that's what they uh, always I, do. I don't. I just don't understand how our rival fan has more chest than Arsenal. The thought process, no, no, but that hold on. Crazy. No, because the thought process behind what I'm doing here, bro, is yes, we could be playing well, and yes, we could do this, we could do that, and I could sit here and I could come out and be like, yeah, we're the best team defensively. We don't get goals scored against us. We got the least amount of goals scored. Place. Oh, oh. Uh, offensively, we've scored the most goals in the Premier League. There I can come are. out and say that. That's no. all brilliant. That's all great. That's all great for me to go out and say that, yeah? But at the end of the day, it is City, is City at the Etihad. And in big games, in games where they need to absolutely win the game, bro, they are how many? Freaking five from five, six from six in these big games where they needed to win? They win these games. Pep Guardiola makes them win these games. The players turn up for these games. So I can't just walk in there. I can't walk in there as a as a player as as a team who thinking and think I'm just gonna breeze through them, bro. Uh, oh, 60%, them, but you should six, beat them. Uh, they don't trust 60 percent, sixty percent win. Sixty percent, sixty percent win, forty percent draw, and zero for City is nuts. Sad. How do nuts. I have more chess than you? Wallah how. No, no, I can, I can have chest. I think we're gonna win, but there's you, you know what your team is and there's actually right being logic. Oh. There's actually can being logic about it. Can I give you logic? Can I give you logic? Explain why we're gonna win. This is why. Explain why we're gonna win. And there's and there's no, no, and there's coming out and just saying absolute bullshit, bro. No, no, okay, sad. I won't, I won't say one single bullshit statement before Hamza goes. Sad. You want logic? Go ahead. Full on logic. Statistics. Arsenal have the strongest defense, the strongest attack, and ever since Dubai, you have been the best team in this whole league. Factually speaking, that's why you're top of the league. You have you are defending like the Yogi Simeone team, mean. and you're attacking like a Jurgen Klopp team. How are you having no confidence headed into a team that needed a slip to beat Brentford at home? I that have... needed that. That uh, what was the other game they won one nil? Jamie Dodd. Yes. Bournemouth. 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 Where Bournemouth Bournemouth. had like seven chances on goal. Like uh, Bournemouth, Chelsea, Chelsea yes. in eleven. Yes, and that's, that's scared. perfect. Advice. You're scared. That's per City's yeah, weak yeah, side, yeah, and you're scared. You guys, you got Hamza, Hamza, relax. I actually that's agree with you. You guys, oh. you guys, you guys are sitting Your here. And you guys are sitting here. Players. You guys are sitting here and acting like you're I'm scared. I'm not shook of City. 
I'm showing respect to the team. You lot are talking with all this chest because it's not your team right now. It's not your team. There you are. If it was your team, you wouldn't be talking with it with that chest. You wouldn't be talking with that chest. I spoke with chest when it was my team. You wouldn't. The only team, the only, the only player that you, the only person you can really talk with chess right now is Jacob, and that's because they're just a weird bogey team, and he's and he he goes there, never expects anything, and always runs out of there with something. So that's that's the only person who can really talk with chess because it just happens over and over again, bro. bro if, I, if, I, if I if I was, I'm gonna be like, oh, we're we no, 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 winning that waffle. game. Sorry, we're going there and we're done. Sorry, if I'm at home, sorry, if I'm at home, please. if I'm at home, my chest is bigger. If I'm going away, it's a different story. Me and Mo guy, seem bro. to be the only ones who are logical you. in this. Stop. Me and Mo seem to be the only ones that are logical. The only ones that are logical sad, right I now. Understand. Everybody else is being mad. For no reason. Sad. Okay, sad. I just this, said, this, what did I say? What did I say? When Mo said Arsenal are underdogs, I said, I agree. Arsenal are underdogs because they're going to the Etihad. Agreed. But we also can observe with our eyes watching Man City lately. Yes. yes. Lately, That's fine. They play, yeah, hear me out so you can ex- understand okay. my point. Go Watching Man City lately, they play like crap. Watching Arsenal lately, they're playing unbelievable. I'm looking and at the way Arsenal are defending and Arsenal are attacking, and logic dictates that they are going to go to the Etihad and get something. Now, I'll say something and be balanced. If Arsenal get a draw, it's a great result for Arsenal. Oh, right. Of start, you know why? Because at the start of the season, it's beat Arsenal at ho- at, uh, beat City at home and draw away. Perfect. You've got your four points. 100%. Now, if you lose to them, I agree with Hamza, it's a disaster. Why? Because they have the easiest running. If you lose the Sunday, خلاص, who's going to stop them? Aston Villa? Walla Fulham? Walla West Ham? Walla Wolves? Let's be real, yani. Okay. So Stop panicking. What Stop what looking I would down say, when Hassan said that. He started looking down. He's nervous. This is yeah, the problem relax. with Hassan. I got... Uh, Hamza, Hassan. Hamza, I is, just got a text, is, I just got a text from my... I just got a text from my mum. Yeah, and she was asking me, "Did you enjoy the the iftar that she made for me and I took home?" Yeah. So why are you being a fraud? 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 One second, spam. Listen, spam. The fact that he looked so quick, he must have read. How was the iftar? Did you enjoy the day? He looked on the look. He looked briefly down. Nah, because she texted. He did not read that quick. Stop giving us a nice story. Yeah. Come she said, "How was?" She <laughs> said, <laughs> nice bro, She said, "She said, how was?" She said, "How was iftar?" Bro, it was three words, bro. looking shameless. You're shameless. This game, but, shameless. Answer. Listen, spam shame for Arsenal fans. Spam shame for Arsenal fans. Yeah, <laughs> these fans are the most shameless fans. If Wallahi, I met Madrid fan yesterday. Wallahi said to me. Arsenal fans are the most shameless fans I've ever met. Why are you classed as the most shameless fans? It's because for a reason. You've not won anything major. You talk too much. But game, when the game comes on, oh, you know, we're going there. Underdogs, we've never won that. Then you, it shows. If you're talking like that, Saka might be walking the... He must be watching the show and say, Huh? What if Saka, if Saka watches me. this show, his phone hey, doesn't boy. believe in me, up, doesn't man. believe Big in up. my gaffer, I love you, man. doesn't believe in my colleagues, you don't believe in their players. All you so, hear is for vibes. Well, do you I'm believe done. you're going to go to Madrid and win? Yeah. Do you believe you're going to go Do you believe you're going to Real Madrid and win? Because you know it's planned out. Answer. That was. One second, one second. Mo, well, that's what I was about to ask you. You know that. I was about to ask him that as well. One second. You've changed your narrative after the portal game. I've seen it. You've changed your narrative when before the portal game, you're like, oh, we mean, no, 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 no. After that, no, 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 draw. You're saying, hands up. I've just gone through. Your narrative is changing. Your fan base are frauds. You're realizing March. You know, March and April is is a time, crunch time. Your football club can't do it on crunch time. You're the biggest bottle job in this country in crunch time. Everyone knows you in this country. If I walk around okay. other farm base and ask them, who are the biggest bottle Hamza. job crunch Hamza. time in April? Hamza. It's you. 
Hamza, you go top four. are you, you go if you league, go to the Bernabeu, if you go to the Bernabeu, you haven't won the league. Hamza, Hamza, Eddie, if you go to the Bernabeu, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't buy the whole, I'm sorry I didn't buy the whole, Hamza, I'm no, sorry I didn't no, buy the whole league. The I'm so sorry that I did not if buy the whole league the floor, okay. and I had to strip and make up. I'm Be sorry I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't make up sponsorships and I didn't make up, I didn't take a country and ask them to, 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 to take then my club and now. then fund it. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I couldn't get a whole country to come through. No, we're talking about the game for money. Funnel money. You're speaking about you're speaking about bottle jobs. You're speaking about bottle jobs. So yes. I had when I built a new stadium, I had to pay for it. Forget about yeah? building new stadium. I, 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 I had to pay the game. for it. Oh, hence oh, why, God, hence why I did the game. No, no, because he's trying to call you trying to call us big bottle jobs and this and that. So I'm giving him the I'm giving him the context to why we didn't win the trophies. I'm giving him the context to why we didn't win the trophies, bro. So either way, I have a question for you, Hamza. If you go to the burnabout, are you definitely winning that game hundred percent? Listen, my football club is world, they're world champions. No, no, yes or no, yes or no. Are you going to that game and you winning a hundred percent? Put your balls on the table, put your balls on the table and show me. Yes, yes. wait, let him talk, sir. Real Madrid are very top tier Yeah, Europe. Oh, you're you're Real Madrid have mutual respect, but we want to beat each other. Yeah, I can't come up and say I'm definitely beat Madrid. But overall, I know what's going to happen. Overall, I know what's going to happen. Yeah? You know, don't bring Madrid I don't... and me into this conversation about Arsenal game. We're talking about Arsenal game. Why are you talking about Madrid game in two weeks? Time for some? <laughs> I, Saad, Saad, Saad asking I anyone said. to step up with their chest in regards to... What is like, it? Bro, you no, have no, to if, if be able to walk that if you're trying to ask him to do it. No, but Jacob, you're not understanding the logic to my question. If, I'm asked, if, if he asks me to come out with my chest, yeah... To big city who are treble winners who who have De Bruyne, they have Rodri, they have Haaland, they have this and they have that in their team, yeah. But he wants me to come up to chess and say, "Oh, I'm going to go." Of course, he wants you to come ground. up with chess. Sorry, go because you said ground. you can but win the league. It, you predict yourself it, to win the league, and if you put yourself in that position, this is a yeah, match you have to go and win. So you, we, you we should can, have confidence we can, going we can, into we it. We can come. We can come and we can. How can you say that you go, I, my, go there and we can one, play? No, you were like, we, like I said, will win the league. You can still, you can still, so draw allow it, still allow, league, allow someone else. You can to, still win. I'm just asking you a question. You still get to talk. Trust me, it's okay. Rattled. I'm saying, how can you go on and say, I believe my gaffer, he will win this league. And then now you're saying he will win this league, but just he won't win the games against City because it's old fancy City with their big shiny treble. That to me. Seems a little because, hypocritical, no, especially because, when you're asking Hamza to go ahead Jacob, and talk with some chesses. Jacob, I like to see yours Jacob, first, my friend. It's fine. Jacob, it's fine because you wanna you wanna speak about chess. There's something when you when you're going for a title, you may not know about this because you haven't done it for many times in your there life. There you are. So when you're going for a there title, you, you have to show. You're a fraud. Respect. You're talking you out your ass now. There you are. So you have to show respect. No, Jacob, you have to show respect. When I go to Manchester mm. United, when me and them are fighting for titles, I go I go to Old Trafford and I show respect. But that's yeah? 20 years ago. You know, you know, you know that it's never it's not gonna be an easy game. You're not gonna go there and just spite spin them. No, it's two time. decades. People have gone to no. uni after that. No, they all have gone uni. Hamza, Hamza, we are using I'm using the same logic. I'm using the same logic. Hamza, if you Hamza, if you if you if I come to you now that he murdered us, Hamza, if you're going to holiday to Thailand by themselves, Hamza. If you're telling me that I, I can come here and I can say, oh, we're definitely going to beat City, but I ask you the same question, are you going to go and you're going to beat Real Madrid at the Bernabeu because you're the champions of the Champions League, yeah? Reigning champions currently, yeah? If you go there and I tell you, are you definitely going to win? And you sit here giving me this pussy answer. Uh, uh, well, we respect each other. Ooh. So we both want to win. And we both want to go out there, put good game. Like, bro, don't give me that. You should, if you if you want me to speak with chess, you should go ahead and speak with chess as well. You're actually the winner. I'm somebody who hasn't won anything yet. This is a young team and an experienced team. So why are you saying Jacob well, about who is Jacob playing well? Field. No, no, because, he's, he's also because not Jacob, well. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob may not understand, but I've I've been in title races. I know what it's like to be in a title race. No, but you but you're just lying again. You're just lying. But Keep either going. way, either way, um, Hamza, I want you to explain to me why you wouldn't show chest against I Real Madrid. Are you sure? Are you sure? 
You know what? Are you sure? That has Why nothing to do with that? Arsenal versus City, you know by the way, Saad. So you're, no, no, because, you're really because, reaching here. No, no, because I'm trying to show you guys where I'm coming from. This is a team that's the current champion that I can't just go and say, we're going to smack them. We're going to beat them. This and that. I do think we're going to win. And there's context. And I'll go to that explanation when I give my... Um, when I give my prediction, of course. We're an hour. But, okay. but you guys, you guys are acting like I'm gonna come out here and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game, it's gonna be an easy one. Um, yeah. No, to, to, there's a difference between up. chest and oh. respect and like laying back in your seat, taking it easy and but there was there was there's no, a clear there was difference no, there. There was no no, but I'm not I wasn't showing no flat chest. I wasn't showing no flat chest. I said this is gonna be the most competitive, this is gonna be um the most competitive it's been. Since the last five years or six years, or however long it's been, or five seasons, six seasons, this is how this is how going to be the most competitive game we're going to have against City at the Etihad. Before we go there, we get smacked. You know, this is this so, is my take about this. A lot of people want to just crazy, say to you know. Arsenal that you must win so they can clip them and make fun of them. Arsenal fans are shit. No, no, no. no, no. Let no, me man. fucking talk. Talk. But Man City, nobody wants to put Crazy. pressure on Man City when with 250 million pounds spent in the summer, the most oh. spent, I think, uh, with a triple, and they regressed from a triple winning team. Nobody mm. wants to put a pressure on them and tell them, no one mm. ever asked them, if you lose and you're four points behind Liverpool and Arsenal at this stage, after spending 250 million, nobody wants to say that, even though they play at their ground. Man City, they haven't won against Man United, away from home. Man City, they haven't won. Against, against Chelsea. Whoever called that move. <laughs> Someone said that. Just but but anyway. <laughs> like, because I know <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone wants to say that Arsenal must win. They might. They might. Like Jacob spoke sense. Jacob spoke like, you want to win the league, you might have to win this game. You might have to win this game. However... It's as simple as if Arsenal don't win the game, I'm not going to sit here and tell them you failed. The reason why, because I'm going to tell them you failed against Fulham. You failed against West Ham. Uh -huh. Not that you failed in this game. Sounds, you don't believe this. I, I, I actually need to finish my... my we let you talk for fucking 20 <laughs> minutes. My waffles for 20 fucking minutes. Bloody let me talk. I'm fucking fasting. Good. I'm fasting. It's an end of a fasting. I'm really, like, annoyed. So <laughs> let me finish. I'm really annoyed. Let me talk. All right? Sad is My you. point about this, everyone wants to get onto Sad. Everyone. And I'm I'm the first one to talk about Sad when they have chest about the Champions League and all the stuff. But I think it's unfair for us to not to ask Hamza why your team already are making excuses. Why a lot of City fans are already preparing the Kyle Walker, the John Stones excuses. Why everybody's giving them that excuses already. It's the talk of, ah, Edison just came back from injury. Oh, the, the player that travels around. It's true. Everyone is talking about this in the media now, right? Well, I don't hear anyone. Why are you having a green screen yet? You're lagging, Habibi. You're lagging. The, the, your background looked okay. It's just, uh, yes. It's no, I thought I was copy Hamza, but forget it's it. It actually look good. But my point is, yes, Arsenal, Jacob, and I want to discuss this with you specifically. Yes, Arsenal have to win the league. But winning the league isn't them winning at the Etihad. They already failed against West Ham. They already failed when they were 2-1 against Fulham in the beginning of the season against 10 men Fulham. But don't tell them that, yes, this Man City game is the game that you must win and you haven't failed. They failed in other games. I think if they lose this game, they look at the other games. They already won at, at Man City. They already did their job this season. It's something that they haven't done for years, right? Again, it's a mighty Manchester City this season. They won, right? Liverpool stopped Man City home and away. And Liverpool were depleted, right? That's their job. Nobody puts pressure on City as City are irrelevant. As you guys want to tell us that City are irrelevant. Is that what I'm hearing? That they, they're, they're irrelevant? It doesn't matter? Are we like, what are we talking about here? Everybody wants to clip Arsenal fans. Like, you, you listen to Igal, you listen to other people that have chest about Real Madrid. But I don't get it. They're going, Hussam made sense when he said they're the underdogs. Yes, they might have to win at the Etihad to actually, if they win at the Etihad, they push City away, yes? They're but an they underdog they, have to win. Is that a fair statement? An they underdog, but they, they have don't to have, win. No, no, they might. Underdog actually, sorry, that, I think it's back. No, I think it's back. Don't have I to think lose. it's back. Mo, I'll take it back. They have to win or draw. Sorry. I yeah, thank you. That's it. That's it. I think it's actually a failure have for to Man City draw. to play again. It's failure for Man City who played Chelsea at home, Liverpool at home. And if they played Arsenal at home and they don't win, 
that's more of a failure than Arsenal who already won against Liverpool and already won against Man City at home. Spurs at home as well, they drew, remember, 3-3. So that, that's what we look at and say, oh, yes, they drew, uh, they drew against Spurs at home. Oh, yeah, they go to Spurs. Yeah, away. they drew against Spurs at home. Three, three. And then oh, nobody man. wants to talk about Hamza and put Hamza in his place and tell him you failed. They drew with Crystal Palace at home. Okay. Let me we tell you. I, think, uh, I, I do want to say, Mo, in Adam regards Fuller. to some of the Go some ahead, of the talking points that you brought up, yes. those those bumps that you mentioned for Arsenal, West Ham, and Fulham, when Fulham had 10 men, I mean shambles, but we move. Those are things that happen throughout the course of the season, and you can only worry about where you're at now and where you can end in the season and how many points are available in the remaining games. And I think from an Arsenal perspective, if their schedule is deemed to be so difficult, you have to win these difficult games if you're going to win the league. That's just point blank and simple. And I think the same thing is said for City. City are, you know, are not top of the league, and we are nearing the final little stretch here. So it is a must win for them. I see for Arsenal is a must win as well because say if they did win or they draw here and then they slip up down the line or, or I know everyone's going to hate all the Arsenal fans in the chat going to hate this, but when they come to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and they get they go home with zero points, and City win that le- win that match week, then things become a little bit more tricky. But if they win this, then I think it makes uh, th- their ride to the title a little bit easier. Little because bit if you easier, take out yes. the per- your direct competition, it's the same thing like with us. Well, yes, we dropped points to Fulham, but we did pull all three points away from Aston Villa. It- it's the, the I think just the natural give and take of the league. But where they're at now, from an Arsenal perspective, as unbiased as I could say it, like I would see this as, who must of win course... More, Jacob, then? Who must win more? From both teams, to be honest, I think Pep. I think I think if Arteta wins this, that's shame on Pep because that's six points for Thank Arteta you. this Thank season. You. Thank so you. I think it's it is must of a more win for Pep. Thank I think you. in regards to talking. where he's at as a manager specifically. I mean, I, I, no, but no, I even hope City get it done. I guys, need City to do something. Deep in for this, me. guys, people. Keep, I was hearing this the other day. I was listening to something while I was driving. Right, and someone said that. By the way, it's only two games that City have to catch up. No, 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 no. It's four games. You know why it's four games? Because you have to catch up two games on Arsenal and two games on Liverpool. So you're asking two teams to drop points in four games. That's the beauty of having a three-horse race. If City lose this, I believe their chances of winning the title go down to 20 or 10%. You're asking two teams to drop points in four games. If Arsenal draw this game, they are still ahead of Man City and three points behind Liverpool with a superior goal difference, right? Yes, they have a tougher schedule, but they are still within one game of catching Liverpool. City will be with two games of catching Liverpool, so it's tough. Mo, can I say something? Can I say something? Yes, yes. What you and Jacob said is logical, based on paper. However, my answer is also logical, but from a different perspective. Saad himself has agreed that City have an easier run in. I think even you have agreed that City have an easier run in than Arsenal. Forget us, than Arsenal. After this, yes. Than Arsenal, yes. yes. So for me, if City win this game, they literally have one game left and it spurs away that we believe is difficult and they can drop points in. That's why, in my personal opinion, from the other perspective, if City, if City win this game, it's going to be City's league. That's it. City will win the league and خلاص, everyone go home. That's that's the other perspective, يعني, we have to be honest. Well, that's not yeah. necessarily true. Yeah, because if you win your match, who, who are you playing? Brentford? Uh, Bra- Bra- Brighton. 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 Right. Y'all go and beat that hipster manager, the flavor of last week. You go ahead and slap him up. Guess what? Yeah, so I you're think still looking will. up at you even if they get the full three points. Then it's in your hands at that point. Yeah, Bro, it's in all three of our hands currently. There's three people, everyone fighting one edge of the trophy and just pulling it to his direction. Do I believe Liverpool are going to win the league? No. That's my honest opinion. And I've been saying this since August. So this is not a new thing. So for me personally, I don't think we're going to win the league. However, I do believe we will beat Brighton this Sunday. Yeah, well, I, in my opinion, I think actually Arsenal, sad when he said this is most confidence. Yes, I get this is Arsenal's best chance to beat Manchester City at the Etihad. Because of the absence of Kyle, and I disagree with all of you. If we're going to talk about the tactics a little bit, Kyle Walker offers them another thing, especially against a team like Arsenal in transition. Kyle Walker offers them the pace. Without Kyle Walker in the transition, 
I think Man City are vulnerable. They're already vulnerable yeah, with Kyle Walker who has space. They're already vulnerable with Kyle Walker who has space. Imagine, imagine if Man City, if, if Arsenal bypass the press and they go against Gavartiol, Ake, Akanji, or uh, and, and Diaz. They're too slow, bro. You'll have to accommodate with another midfielder. Kyle Walker offers something else. Kyle Walker offers... This, there's a reason why Pep always played Kyle Walker against Spacey forwards. There's a reason why, even in his bad times last season, Kyle Walker played against Spacey forwards. And Arsenal, what are they good at? Transition football. You know, Mo, uh, Mo, we saw against Diaz, Walker's got the pace to come back, but he's been shocking defensively. Bro, Diaz, freaking and he, that's what I'm saying. He got the, he has the pace to come back, I but it's defensive, defensively I, imagine terrible. If it wasn't, and imagine he, if it wasn't Walker, that. Okay, imagine if I mean, there was two people on Diaz, Aslan, Walker. Or not, there was two so just think about it. Imagine if it's not Walker, someone that doesn't have Walker space. Okay, so who are they gonna play a right back? Uh, who Akanji. though? Akanji. 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 Probably gonna Akanji. be a, it's probably gonna be a Kanji. I think Akanji, Akanji would Akanji deal Diaz, with Diaz, Martinelli. Like be Akanji, Diaz, Aki, Aki, Akanji would deal with Martinelli. He would I deal don't with think so. Space though, space, space. You, you, you know, Mo, the only thing that worries me about Arsenal, like in a negative light, their forward line. I, like my no no no, let me tell you the problem. For Mish Havertz alone, even Saka, even Martinelli, even Trossard, if these four they get a chance in front of goal and they keep messing around and just not taking their chances, Arsenal are not getting shit. That forward mm. line this Sunday need to be on point, and I mean on point. Like I have... serious, Huzzam. they need to be on have... point. We have been we have been on point post Dubai, which is also always always a plus. But Agreed. I can tell you right now how Arteta is gonna gonna put us out on that pitch. Yes, mid block, right. exactly how we did it in the in the home game. Yeah, and the mid can block. Can you explain to the people what pressing, a mid block is? A new buzzword. Can you explain it to us? Uh, so it's a mid block is it's not everybody back. You're still your your line is still outside of your box. But it's not okay. fully high line, bro. You're not at the halfway okay. line. Do you know what I mean? Right. So you're 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 just on the edge of the of the box or just um outside it. Okay. And then and then and then that's basically a mid block. Uh, and that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna do a mid block, and it's just gonna be pressing, 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 pressing from each side. That's how we beat Liverpool at home, and that's how we beat City at home. That's exactly what he's gonna do. The exact same thing. Home by a bloody deflected goal, shameless. Oh, uh, bro, have a day what off, bro. A have a day off. <laughs> the, what what <laughs> happened? Yeah, I love. What, what happened? Hamza, what happened? What? Hamza, 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 sleep, sleep, Hamza. and wakes up at the right time. Bro, 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 who cares, bro? Hamza, Hamza, who cares about the? Who cares about what happened in the game? Everybody only cares about the results. Nobody gives a fuck what happened in the game, bro. There's no such thing as mid blocks and tacticals how you play. Nobody, before. nobody, Who nobody is? knows. Nobody you try to make cares yourself what clever. happened in the game. We beat game. you guys. We beat you guys. Harland. Ballon d'Or, Harland Ballon d'Or did fuck all in that game. This yeah? is why Ballon d'Or did fuck all this, in this that game. This is the reason why. So Arsenal, please yeah? calm down. Listen, that's not start Arsenal speaking, the way they play. Bad. Let, listen, what Carl Walker is important. Stones is important. Whether you like it or not, they're very important for City. Losing them, is he a blow? Yes. Are they essential? Yes. But are they important then? So essential. And we need them. And without them, we lose the game. You know, it, it, unlikely. Because we should, I should not be dependent on two players like Walker and Stones to win games like that. And if I do, there's, there's something, there's a problem. To me, when I see Arsenal, they've got full time, they've got full squad. The way Arsenal forward are playing, yeah, they I know they scored goals, but they've bullied small teams. What are we doing here? Was they Liverpool bullied small teams. Team? Was when Liverpool you them a, team? A, a role team? Was Newcastle a small team? Auto. Easy yes. was, Newcastle, was, was Newcastle a small team? I'm on your side, sad. Easy there. No, no, no. no. Mention other, other clubs. Mention other clubs. Six against Sheffield United. Leave me alone, brother. Climbing goals after goals. I'm trying to be Brighton. He's got a 3 0 up. You give them Porto, they're struggling to score a goal in 120 minutes. What are we doing? City, City, the only way to play them. It's Isaac, Isaac, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Grealish, I think Grealish is key, but I don't know whether he'll play. Grealish for me is very important for C. 
You know, you guys laugh. But why you keep talking about players that don't play? I think Kovacic is going to play with Rodri. Is who's okay. going to play Hamza, with Let me ask you a genuine question. Is Hamza, Ronaldo or, or Kovacic? Before Hamza, you ask, let me ask you a question. Before you ask, genuinely guys, right now, thousand people you, here. you are going to the game Can this we get Sunday. get the likes up? Let's mess up. Let's mess up. Get, yes, guys, there's a thousand people in there's here. There's fucking thousand people of you here, and we aren't even in 500 likes. I have no guys, idea. Guys, an hour and 15 minutes. I'm shame on these roads. I'm shame on the one who are being I'm going to go to the super way. chats in a second. You get me? That's what I'm saying, guys. Like and subscribe. Guys, you're all calling it this the greatest show of all time. Hit the like button so we can reach more and more and more and more people. You get me? Hit the like button. Subscribe to this football. Big up to LB for the raid. Annie Gal for the raid. And all the, the people who have redirected. I love you all, man. Hit the like button now. 500 likes. 50% at least. We can't expect Arsenal to be clinical this Sunday and then you're not clinical. Big up to you guys, man. Slap the like button. Subscribe. Hamza, right now, in front of a thousand people, I want an honest just one last thing before I read the super chats, Hamza. You have to be a man. You're a man. There's a thousand people watching us. I don't predict. There's a thousand people watching us, Hamza. Uh, you have to make okay. you, no one second. You have to make a promise right now. Mm -hmm. Just like I made you a promise, you're gonna cook my club for Chabellon, so no problem. You have to make a promise right now. This Sunday at 10 o'clock when we have Al Ahwa, you can't come here and use stones and Kyle Walker injuries and excuse. No, 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 they obviously I miss them, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. There you are. No, there you are. Up. And he has you been exposed. Let me tell you. He oh, has so been nice. exposed, Obviously, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 Everyone no, is welcome. Let me, let me say something, yeah? Why Wallahi. are you surprised? Wallahi, listen. Can you promise <laughs> you? Because of that, Wallahi, I have waged war on Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate, Wallahi plays Euros. I'm after England. I'm supporting Denmark. I'm supporting Serbia. I want Bro. England as soon as possible. These guys put my guy injured, yeah? In a crucial time, I blame some of my players their frauds, yeah. For especially oh Stones, we're paying his wages, he's been off for a while. Hamza Stones he played 14 Premier League games, games. Hamza. Hamza, Hamza Ebni Stones has played 14 Premier League games. No, no, hold on, Ziad. He's still using Stones. Stones combined, <laughs> minutes <laughs> kalam, yeah, ibn, it's it's only 10 games. Hamza Stones combined minutes is only 10 games. Yeah, he's he's using him as an excuse then. Oh, he's so important for us. Gabney, he's not oh, important. Oh. This is a problem. No, he's so crucial. Oh, I am not surprised. Well, he's, he's so shameless. With his excuse Let me come on. No, I'm right. sorry, City fans. Well, like, yeah, he's, he's shameless. Good. He has to be shameless. Hey, I'm more than decided to play for England when you've missed many games for Man City. We pay you wages for this. We were trying to get them fit for around March and April. If I'm Pep Guardiola, I'm angry. Yo, I've been waiting for you for months. And you go and play for, for your country to do what? The reason why England should have played, they should have played bums of Ziyad's players. They should have played players. Are like, you lot your guy? What, what are you talking about, bro? He didn't play Pop Palmer. To try and get a place in England's squad. Those guys have to fight. Zia, <laughs> don't argue. Zia, oh, don't God, argue, God. please. Bro, bro, bro why are you trying to argue? <laughs> Well, I'm pissed, man. Stones got me angry. Hey, that bro, is, the guy doesn't play for your I'm team. Sorry, Stop, he's not an excuse. Sam, bring that, bring that, bring that comment out, please. Can you bring that comment out? Excuses this Sunday. That's it. Hassan, bring that, bring that comment out, please. Bring that comment out, please. Uh, Hassan, let me tell you something, yeah. Uh, too second. many will lie. Uh, what, what we're seeing right now, what we're seeing right now, with Saad and Hamza, is pure, pure embarrassment. Okay, you have Hamza. So this is what happens when you see success overnight. Khalas, overnight you see success. This is what happens. You see Saad, who doesn't ever achieve anything in his body lifetime. This is what happens. They, they, they're not used to it. They don't know how to react to it. You know, it's like having given a kid a billion pounds or a million pounds or even 10 pounds. No, he doesn't know how to deal with it. Hamza sees a, a success overnight. He doesn't want to show any chest. Yeah, Saad, his club's actually trying to play well. He's finally doing what something. Chest? What when it, chest? When, do you one second. To? When it comes to trying to win the league, no, no, no. Sorry, underdogs, underdogs. We lie, underdogs. We lie, underdogs. Where is this man, Maskara, bro? What is going on here? So I'm some chest. Where is this man, waffle man? Anyway, let me just read the super chats now before you know we can move on topic. Uh, you know because I don't want to get the predictions. I cancelled all of the FA Cup predictions, all four of them, because I got sent three edited versions. I'm not gonna sit up there and check edit history. And we have a fraud on this panel. I'm not gonna say any names who woke up 
realized Coventry were up against Wolves and then he said 3-2 Coventry and I'm supposed to believe his bullshit. So I cancelled them all. You get me? Even though I actually got quite a few points that weekend. So I'm going to do yeah. proper predictions. Um, anyway, a thousand people in here. We're going to go to the Super Chats now, name. guys. I thought, no, no, it's okay. I want a name. I want a name. I want a name. I want a name. Guys in the comments. Guys in the comments. 50 pounds. Osam says the name. 50 pounds. He says the name. 50 pounds. Osam exposes the fraud. 50 pounds. I would expose who cheated in that. No, no, no. 50 pounds. 50 pounds. I actually don't know who cheated. I 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 don't know who cheated. Well, I don't yeah, know. I'll let you guys know. Let 50, guys pounds. Know. Anyway, 50 pounds. Anyway, guys, listen, there's a thousand people in here. Uh, 32 super chats. I'm going to get through them all, guys. Let me just address them so we can get through the, the show. Um, Big up to my guy, Nilot Pal says, Big up the panel, Mo the legend. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, Nilot Pal. Thanks for asking. Thanks for supporting your channels. Absolutely. Man, like Nilot Pal. Big up to Joseph who asks, Where is Staffy? Uh, Staffy couldn't make today's show, but big up to him regardless. Uh, we'll be redirecting to him after the stream. Uh, big up to Smoke who says, Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam, Salih. Hayati ilak. Shukran, brother. Uh, big up to James Bond says, Hamza, we aren't afraid of Pep Diddy. Wow, we're calling him Pep Diddy now, James Bond. That's a fraudulent <laughs> Pep Diddy. Audh billah. Uh, Jamon's chest needs push-ups. Stop speaking Platanos. I have no idea what that means, football capo. But mm. whoever understood the reference, I'm sure is clapping for you. Big up to you, my awesome. brother. Um, I wish one of those leopards. Ooh, whoa, G Pat. Oh. Relax, That's mad. That's a mad super chat. There is no way you're that angry, G Pat. No, no, no. He said he wish he had my meal. You know my neighbor's meals. There you are. Yeah, Here we go again with my neighbor sends me food. Here we mm -hmm. go again. Joseph says, Hamza, after all your waffle, our city going to win? We're going to ask him for prediction now. You best believe. I will write it down. Big up to, to Ali Tamimi says, Hamza, are you from Brazil or Kenya? Fraud, 115. When he wants to cook Liverpool, he had a friend in London called Amin who supported Liverpool. When internationals come, I grew up in the streets of Rio de Janeiro. When Brazil lose, oh my God, I'm Kenyan. You know, when Kenya lose, oh my God, I'm Somali. Somali. The guy cannot decide. He cannot decide. He's from 15 nations. You get me? He is United Nations. He's United Nations SBC. Uh, you get he's me? a legend. That's all we know. <laughs> yes, he's a legend. Spurs, Palace, Pool, Chelsea all took points at the Etihad. And we're going to add Arsenal this Sunday. Mark my words. Big up to you, Guapo. Big up to Finehas who says, Sad, you better cook this waffling bobblehead, says Finehas. Hey, damn. Big up to you, my yeah, brother. Fraud. Big up to uh, uh, Suleiman, who says, stop yeah. playing Ramadan, Hamza, have some shame. He says, wallahi, as well. That's the messed up part. What did I say? Rodri, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Foden, etc. Terrible options right there. Let's throw a pity party. Oh, Kyle Walker, our worst player, is oh. out. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. Big up oh. to you, Nate. Big up to Nate Paul says, Masai Mara also have zebras, deer, giraffe, etc. And Arsenal predators are coming for you, Hamza. Yes, sir, Nilat Pal, and we will be there this Sunday, inshallah, as well. By the way, Hamza is actually going to the Etihad, and he's going to sit right next to the Arsenal fans, and he told me that he's sitting there to mock them. So don't let him run this underdog narrative. Hamza have 115, uh, Man City have 115 charges. Hamza has 115 excuses. That is a factual super chat from Ben. Big up to you, Ben. Terry Makasse for the super chat. Big up to Martin who says, Hamza says a lep leopard can't change its spot. Uh, but he used to be a Barca fan. Maybe different leopards in Kenya slash Brazil slash London slash Somalia slash all the countries that Hamza claims. You get me, Martin? Big up by made by Mike who sends an empty super chat and then he comes back and says, according to Hamza, all Arsenal players are frauds and bums. So why is he speaking about squads and players missing? It shouldn't matter to him. Saka is Charles and Zogbia. Martinelli is a fake Brazilian. Declan Rice, 105 million waste of money. Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel Costa, let his come and play. Hey, down. <laughs> if City loses to Arsenal, sack Pep. Hamza is a fraud, says Dinishan. Big mm. up to you, Dinishan. Never we have seen Hamza this shook, says Jack Lee. He definitely has been shook today. Big up to you, Jack. Uh, big up to Emmanuel, says Arsenal are winning 3 1. Hamza must work at IHOP. Waffle. Great comment right there from Emmanuel. Big up to Ben, who says, Sad and Hamza, say it with your chest and back your team. Don't give excuses. Be a man and take the cooking when you lose. From Bayern Munich fan, says Ben. Hey, we he finally got I'll buy a fan about me. But ask them about Arsenal. 
حسام سعد ما تدقوا جي جي استاذ حسام مخاوي خلوا بالكم وي ويل وين ان شاء الله ان حمزه يشد وير حجاب اون ذا نكس قهوه شو تو ادميت يور شيم اذا لم تستحي فاصنع ما شئت 115 اي اف يو هاف نو شيم يو هاف نو شيم وي جيت مي جي جي اش بات ام نوت دوينج اني اجندز اور اني ثينج اي دونت جيف ارسنال جيت جيت سمثينج وي جيت يو جي جي اف ذي اوبن اب لايك ذي ديد اجينست يونايتد اتس اوفر اجريد ذاتس واي اي ثينك Arsenal will get something. Arsenal bottle job FC says, I don't know if this is Sahin or Seven, but big up to you, my brother. Big up to Sawan who says, Hamza, we only sold the naming rights of the stadium to Emirates, whereas your club is owned by the Emirates. We're just different. Hold that. Arabs of the panel, you are flying Emirates or Etihad? Etihad is a posh. Emirates, always Emirates. Emirates is like easy jet. Always Emirates. Always Emirates. Like yeah. High class, easy jet. Funny, funny, thing, funny thing is, Emirates is worth more than Etihad. Go check it. Etihad is like high class. Actual business, gonna... actual business. <laughs> but, but you know, <laughs> they got more planes. They, they have more planes than Etihad. And they ask for bigger company. But anyway, why are you daring them to fly an airplane like they're gonna, like the guy's gonna, like the pilot is gonna come down and go like, oh, you so supposed to get out of this plane? Like, why is this a thing, bro? <laughs> this guy, yaki, wallahi, what a fraud. <laughs> Oh my god, man, I dare you fly at the hat. Like the guys oh, gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna ask him plane. who's better, Rodri or Rice? They say rice and they get off the plane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you at Hamza show chest, they're playing it safe too much, and most stop being biased towards Arsenal. The guy loves chaos. I that. know hey. since I traumatized him, he's never forgotten. Yeah, I'm I am not traumatized and I'm not biased. I call it as yeah. it is same as when yeah. Man City were going to Anfield and everybody told me, oh, Man City have to win, must win. I said, no, they're going to Anfield. You just see, you guys see with one cheek of your ass. That's the problem. Damn. That's the problem. Big up to Daniel's ass and what he sees with it. None of you want to see your chest show your hearts. You never walk alone, says Sherry. Bears, bears, bears. I strongly agree with Sam and Mo on City versus Arsenal. See, we were very logical. Big up to you, Ben. Big up to Smoke says Chrome. Jacob was logical as well. Separation, they don't want to give me any admit. They don't want to admit that. You get me? Hamza, if Arsenal win the Premier League, Pep oh, is spell the cone man. Damn. Okay, <laughs> Dinishan. Big up to Jack who says, Hamza reports are coming out that Madrid opted to join Super League because they fear City. What are your thoughts on this? Also, 115 in the chat, lads, right now. 115 in the chat. Hey, I have a clip of Hamza going on a podcast and telling the reaction of the fan when they drew Man City. You think I don't I don't have clips? I have clips ready. Me and Vel will be there, inshallah. Big up to Sulaiman who says, uh, Yalla aho, you never said what kind of pounds. There you so are. The 50, <laughs> there 50 you are. great pounds, Yabni. Ahmed, oh my God. You know what? Hey, I give you guys, you guys discount. 15. We go from 50 to 15. 15 pounds, I'll let you know who cheated in the FA Cup predictions. Um, big up to Uber7 says, brother, Sam, brother, uh, you done with the Back Again podcast? No, I'm not done with it. We just had a clash of times today, you know, and neither of us could move the show. Big up to you, Uber7. Um, big up to AJ Jamo says, Mo, are you on the West Coast? Uh, no, yeah. I am Texas. Isn't Texas? Yeah, West buddy. Coast? No, Texas, no is Texas is time. middle. Texas Central Time. Is it, is it not okay. near, closer to East? Or actually, no, 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 no. It's right there in the middle, baby. Is that next to New York? I'm not ready are, to you from, are you from it? Texas as well? Uh, I was uh, born in uh, Dallas, which is six hours north of where Mo Dallas, is. Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. now. Hey. If, he, he, respect, turns on, if like he turns on the accent, you guys wouldn't understand anything. If he turns on the accent. If I give you street, yeah. If I give you directions, you just gonna head on down over there and left, take a route when you pass on the gas station. Find yourself on the right around the corner. You want to go around the corner? Come to one stoplight. One stoplight. You hit that. Go left and then around the road. They get to real nice. You know. Okay. All you're missing, all you're missing at the end of that is a bit of chewing tobacco in your mouth and just. That's it, bro. Just in the back. Yeah, just go like at the end. Yo, the, yeah, just shoot them to park. Just... But the thing about it is that even Dallas, the more north oh, you right. go from Texas, the thicker the accent gets. You get more Kentucky and you get Mississippi and it just gets thicker and thicker. Oh, you get to Oklahoma, it gets thicker and slower for sure. <laughs> Damn. Shout out to the Thunder. Hamza ready to blame Southgate, King <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Charles and the late queen uh, for City losing the league. The excuses are already uh, looked at, loaded and ready to go. There you are. There you are. This is such a fact as well. <laughs> this guy will blame everyone and everything. bro. Big up oh, to Hussam's yeah. diehard fan who says, Sam, if we get the Zerbi, I will help fly the plane. There you are. There you are. Big up to you, my guy. We got to Uber7 who says, Hamza, you have Klopp. Smile, my brother. 
you have club smile he's saying oh okay okay big up to you my guy over seven big up Shout out to Sam, who's always been supportive of the channel he sends 20 pounds he says go and tell us who cheated for sam plus hamza uh you're still a bobblehead slap a head fraud you know who slap it this guy come back on camera you fraud you've come been back exposed on camera, you fraud. Exposed. come back on camera Come Put back. your face on camera right now. Be a man. Be a man. Switch on your camera. Be a man right now, Ziad. Be a man. Be a man. The guy who cheated. There you are. There you are. <laughs> Look at him. This is like Look Windows protection him. program. He just snitched on everybody. No, no. Hold up. Hold up. I, one second. Let me tell you something. I didn't do. No, no. I'll tell you what I done. Let me tell them the time. Oh, my God. He really cheated. No, he well, I didn't. Let me tell you what he No, no, no. He cheated. Oh, my God. He didn't be predicted. One second more, he sent me predictions, and you know, on the top right of the messages on WhatsApp, it says edited. It's and this guy predicted, Lela, one oh, second, man. we all went for Wolves to beat Coventry, oh. right? His prediction was Coventry 3, Wolves 2. Exact result. So I was like, there is no way this guy predicted Coventry to win. And you know what his confession was? I woke up, I saw Coventry was 2 0 up, and I just said 3 2 to Coventry. This is the guy. Bro, let, let, let me say, let me explain to you. No, let me explain to you what happened. No, no, let me say something. Five let me say something. Point deduction no, let me say something. Five no, 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 let me say something. For you give that let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. Okay. Uh, at the end of the day, end of the day, I, I, I listen. Yeah, exactly, Jacob. I, I, my predictions. Hussam didn't like my original predictions. Okay, he didn't like it. So I was like, okay. Let me. Ch let me when I woke up, I saw his message. I was like, okay, let me change it. I went on to games just to re remind myself of the games. I saw, hold up, Coventry already beat Wolves. Fuck it, let me change it. Three, two Wolves. Then obviously, how Sam clocked, I said, okay, give me zero points for the Wolves game and continue the rest. But no, Hassam twists his mind. He's like, no, everyone zero points. So the bigger L is on Hassam because you could have just told me to get zero points on that game. Okay, so you can hold that as your fault. Okay, guys, listen, before, FFP, before we get to the PSR. come on, man. Simply, simply just screenshot the predictions now. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna, gonna do it. I'm, we're gonna do it today. I don't care if it takes us five seconds each to just give up a prediction. We're doing it live on this on air. I don't care, uh, you know. So big up to you, Redline Taranga. Also, guys, you know, as the as Ahwa continues to grow step by step by step, we're getting sponsors. So uh, our first sponsorship, guys, on Ahwa. Uh, is from Hamza and Shoulders. You get me? Uh, we are being sponsored by Hamza and Shoulders, ladies and gentlemen. You get me? Um, so this wow. is our first official sponsor. <laughs> Go to HamzaShoulders.com to claim your packet of Hamza and Shoulders. <laughs> hey, look, uh, hey, Hassam, Hassam, look at the top corner. Look at the top corner. 115 action. Yes, 115. <laughs> Nice jokes, but I can't lie. Hey, like that is frauds. Well, I like Valley. I think I'm in the chat right now. Anyway, listen, guys, there's hey. the southern people in here. I want to get to the predictions segment. You get me? So please do slap the like button, do subscribe. Um, you know, so since we have finished talking about about the, the city and, and, and Arsenal game and just preview it to the point of frying, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the predictions. So We'll start with Hamza since he's at home. There you are. He's gone. He's on spaces already. Give me your prediction, Saad, then. Um, my prediction for this game is a 2-1 win to Arsenal. Um, I believe one Arsenal. Going, going there, I, 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 bro, the amount of space that these guys leave in behind, I think it's something that we can penetrate. Pause. I said the pause, so let's relax. And I think we can we can actually take take those chances, man. Um, I think with the scoring that we're doing, I think we're going to go out there, we're going to win 2 1. I'm saying 2 1 because there's no way we keep a clean sheet against City. Uh, they, they, they are going to score a goal, but I think we'll just outscore them and it will be 2 1 win. Okay, Zizou. Why is everybody so happy? Look at this. Yes, sir. Oh. Um, Why are you taking so long? You know you're not being bro, uh, cheating allegations. You know you're not being the cheating allegation by taking this long. Bro, it's Hassan's fault, bro. It's not my fault, man. It's not my problem. Um, Hassan, can you come back to me, man? I need to think about this logically. Can you come back to me? This is a big game. Okay, man. Jacob, give me we've, been, we've been on for an hour and a half. Personal. No, we've been on for an hour and a half, Ziad. You'll be all right. 
All right. Sometimes you got to get your big pants on and you got to button it yourself there, young boy. All right. So we've been talking on this match for an hour and a half. I'm sure by now you've had in your mind, this is how it may or may not go. So go ahead and just tell us, and then I'll go on with my prediction. Yo, Hamza, I swear to God, if you bottle it for me, bro, uh, 2 1 C. Hamza, okay. I'll come for uh, you, bro. Take there we go. I'm saying a 2 2. 2 2. Um, I think they're both going to be frauds about it. 2 1 City. Yeah. Do you want me to change my mind? Like, I was <laughs> told no, 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 about City favorites. No, Okay, my prediction is as follows. He's going to give three predictions. <laughs> no, I don't think City will win this. I'm just thinking whether it's a draw or an Arsenal win. You know what? Because it's at the Etihad, I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. But... If you ask me right now who I think is going to win, honestly, deep down, I think it's Arsenal. But I'm just going to go, go for a 1-1. You get me? Just play it safe since all these guys play it safe anyway. And they're tough, their leagues and shit. So, um, Hamza, are you here now? Can we get yeah. the prediction? Well, and they're telling me you're on Facebook. Where is your profession, Lesbian, in front of the YouTube city, camera? He said it 50 party. times. Sad. What's going on there? Prediction, Hamza. I said it. No, you got to hold it there for a bit. You got to hold it there. What? This is haram, bro. We what can't hear you. Man? What's the prediction? You got the MacBook, yeah? Yeah, man. Hamza, so, can we get a prediction top? for the game, brother? I he said 2-1 City. 2-1 City. He said 2-1 City. Hamza. Hamza said 2-1 City. I oh, said like 50 times. Habibi, wallahi. I, My God. I, 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 I lagged. My God. <laughs> yeah, the guy literally said There you are. Okay, so... Um, there you are. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. I think I think logically I think most, so uh, logical transition. <laughs> okay, no problem. I think I like that. <laughs> I think logically the most logical transition now is, is we all the, sing the the Liverpool. I think Brighton we all game. have to sing the Zerbi. I think we all have to sing the Zerbi to Liverpool. This is I think this is all what with we have Kish, to do. With so you guys want to talk about the manager and then we have to yeah, stay we have to make oh, Jacob no, stay for an extra Robert 15. Okay, no problem. Yalla, you can talk about Roberto Di Zerbi. That's what they're going to Sam, Sam, it's a nightmare, bro. Sam, why you? Sam is facing. to be a bit late. Okay, go on, guys. What do you want to say about the Liverpool manager? I'll start. I'll start. Well, if you start, you're not going to finish. If you start, you're not going to finish, bro. Like abs as a G, but it's an all star. What a shameless fan base! Yeah, oh, Allah. Football club. We grew up not looking up to you. I saw you finishing fifth, six, seven. At least I knew I was bad, but you used to eat on the same plate as me. Yeah, you used to eat on the same plate as me. My you friend, me I mean, stories. Why did you become a Liverpool? Steven Gerrard, Steven Gerrard. He never won the league. He never won the league in his life. I asked Steve, Gerard, Gerard. Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira. I asked Ziad, why did you become a Chelsea fan? Lampard, Drogba, league titles, league titles, cups, cups being lifted like that. Guess what? You told me, we're the biggest club in the world. Listen, Manchester United are in the mud. I hate them so much. Guess what they did? They knock on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So you used to be one of us. Come on, manage us. He was, hey, I'll manage you. Oh, he win there. I didn't think he would go there. Manchester United have a pool. Oh, oh, they oh, were in Europa oh. League. They pulled Pogba. Oh, Pogba, we're in Europa League. Come and join us. We're Manchester United. They join you. Who do you pull? You have zero pools. You have zero pools completely. What pool do you have? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Look at your players when you shop up. You shop at Audi and Lidl every week. You tell them, we're Liverpool football club. You don't shop anywhere. Look at your players. Joey Gomez came from Charlton Athletic. <laughs> Ibrahim Okonate came from Leipzig. You had Simicas from Olympiacos. You signed Andrew Robertson from Hull. Your Joel Matip was from Schalke and all fear fight in relegation. Rhys William and Trent are from your academy. Wataru Endo was getting relegated with Stuttgart. Shobos lines from Leipzig. McAllister from Brighton. Curtis Jones from your academy. Have you any from Fulham? 
You sign players Stefan Basetic from Celta Vigo and James McConnell from Sunderland. <laughs> That's where you shop up. You then shop up. What? That we Nunes 90 million begging Benfica, please sign up. You sign him from Benfica for a waste of money, 90 million. Cody Gakpo, PSV Eindhoven. Look at your pool. You never have a pool. We know you. You never pool. You got players, uh, Diego Jota, moves. That's where you shop up. You shop because no one looks up to you. You think, oh, Mbappe wanted to, his mom said he's a Liverpool fan. Come on, join Mbappe. Pull Mbappe, I dare you. I dare you, do it. Jude Bellingham, we've been waiting for him for two years. Uh, Paul Joyce told us he's coming. Hamza, that's what we didn't go. <laughs> you went and got what Haru Endo. <laughs> he waited for two years and you signed him for two years. Can you tell me what this has to do? Bro, bro, that bro. angle is you crazy, bro. I never thought about it from this was. angle. Xavi Alonso said, Ooh. What does this have to do with Chabi Alonso? I tell you. you, he's having a great angle. I never thought that. about it. He's you cooking. Don't actually. attract anyone. Wait, so buy, buy he's he's actually, buy actually buy cooking, Hossam. No, no. Liverpool are the new club of rejection. They're the new club of rejection. Alisapu, guys. Alisapu, not talking about Daniola. Come on, Pep. Greatest man in the world walked in. Hamza want to manage your own sign more contract. Let me sign extension. Your manager say. I can't take you. I'm tired. I want to go. <laughs> okay, you want to go? Who's going to be your next guy? Hands is going to be Xavi Alonso. I said, Xavi Alonso can't go there. You know what? Xavi Alonso can't go there. He doesn't He doesn't believe Xavi Liverpool Alonso have an ambition to win the league at all. Liverpool don't have an ambition. We grew, you know, winning the league. Xavi Alonso rejected Alonso Bayern Munich as well. Hamza. I went to Real Madrid win league title. I went to Bayern we won league title. With you, you never yeah. gave him a league title. What's to do with you? Oh. Liverpool is Liverpool John Balls played for us. Go and tell John Balls his stories on Channel 5. Go and tell Graham Souness, 70s is your era. But this era in the millennium after two. This is the era of Man City, Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea. They've been there. They can tell stories. You don't. You, you don't. Sabi Guess what? Xavi Alonso said, I'm not joining you. It you hurts just you. Your, the own guy. your own guy. Imagine, imagine Lampard when Chelsea won the match. Lampard, the ex player. Hands on joining Chelsea. If I ask Henry, do you want to manage Arsenal? Mikel Arteta said, Hands on leaving you. I played for Arsenal. Let me go. But you, <laughs> Shabby Alonso said, No, they're donkeys. <laughs> These guys lied to me, Hands on. All they do, you will never walk alone in a pitch. Yeah. They accept failures. Trent even said, Trent even said, it's okay to win one league title as long as there's, there's parade on people are parading calling cups. It's better than five league title. Shameless, shameless players who grew up watching no league title, seeing Steven Gerrard slip. Ha! He saw Steven Gerrard slip. He knows what is enough for you. Accept one. Let me finish this. You guys, yeah. I know you, Wallahi, used to sign Glenn Johnson from Portsmouth, Daniel Aga from Bronbury, Kiriakos from AK, used to sign for Skirtel from Zenit. Yeah, remember Albert Riera? Remember those days? <laughs> <laughs> We're running it part two. When clock, please. Gareth Southgate might be your manager. He's in the shortlist. Gareth Southgate might be. I'm hearing. Hamza, Pochettino. Third best manager, Hamza. Look, you smoke. I realize it. <laughs> you smoke already. <laughs> because you know, Hamza, Sam, I saw you alive. You told them, if we don't get the sporting Lisbon manager, what do we do? You cast two show. He's been linked to your football club. You cast United by Gareth Southgate. He's on your links. <laughs> you have to interview him because you don't have a manager. You don't have managers. And then you tell us, Liverpool Football Club, we have Anfield Stadium. You don't have a pool. You don't have a pool. And look at yourselves. Look at yourself. I saw you, Wallahi, in the two We don't have forever. We have to do predictions. No, okay, finishing. You had, Wallahi, I used to see you. Jimmy Traore. I used to see you with Smith Sack. Nicky Bambi, you signed Gary McAllister, age four years old. He was walking with a stick like this from Coventry City. <laughs> you see, you're shopping at Coventry City. 
I was relegated. I'm signing George Weah, Ballon d'Or winner. Well, now he came to my football club. He's now president of Liberia. <laughs> I signed him. I can tell children my stories. They don't have a pool. You Liverpool fans, zero pool. Know your place. Sit down the foot. Bellingham, Lavia, Enzo. Never How many did you get rejected? Bellingham. I say though. I mean, never pull is though. crazy, bro. Standard. Never pull. Someone said never pull. <laughs> never forget where you're from. Don't ever talk. And you're finished. Emil ne Hesky, they never were pull is that crazy, bro. So enjoy your next two months. Other than that, you're finished. <laughs> oh, so, nice. Asam, don't worry, Asam. Don't worry. Okay, you, don't, okay. you don't need. You don't need Jabal also. One second, Ziad. My fish also. My Kharug. I mean, I need wrong predictions. I'm just like. I'm just want to say you don't. You don't need Jabal also. You have Pochettino. Don't worry, man. After spot, Ziad. First of all, Hamza, Jimmy Traore has more Champions Leagues than Sergio Aguero. Second of all, we signed Fernando <laughs> Morientes, Champions League winner from Real Madrid. We signed Luis Garcia from FC Barcelona. You signed Ruben Diaz from Portugal, same thing that you mocked Nunes for. You signed Ederson from Portugal, same thing that you mocked Nunes for. You buy, signed uh, Kevin De Bruyne from Wolfsburg. You signed Bernardo Silva from Monaco. You signed Haaland from Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, you signed Doku. You signed Doku. Once again, you signed Doku you from signed Lons. Players, you, signed, you signed Grealish from... Uh, Hamza, I didn't interrupt you. Be, be respectful. You signed Grealish from Aston Villa. You get me? You, 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 ha, you don't sign superstars either. So you can't sit up here and waffle. And you if you had Sina Pogon go. You had Bruno Sheru. You don't... Well, why has to hear Liverpool fans tell me? Bruno Sheru is an excuse. If you're going to do this whole excuse to say, uh, oh my God, you know, uh, this shows that Liverpool have no pull. Okay, then Bayern Munich have no pull. You know why? Because Xabi Alonso said no to Liverpool and to Bayern Munich. The guy wants to stay at Leverkusen another year. He has earned the right to do that. Really. He will play with them this season. He basically is saying, I want to compete in Champions League football. I want to earn more experience. That's all the guy's saying. And I have no problem with that. Because now, now, I've said from the start, it's either I, I, I want Xabi Alonso as my primary target. Me, I'm not like you. I don't change. I don't do videos. I don't do videos like you where you have photoshopped Declan Rice into an Arsenal shirt, into a, a Manchester City shirt. And as soon as he doesn't sign for your football club, he's suddenly a crap player. You think we forgot? No, I didn't say he's a crap player. I didn't say he's a crap player. Suddenly he's a crap player. Suddenly it's Declan Rice and, and all this stuff. Listen, man. So we, didn't get Chabi, we didn't get Chabi Alonso, that's fine. You never that's used to true. even keep players. No Fernando Traore has left for Chelsea. Chelsea. You never wanted to go to Chelsea. There's no excuse for Suarez no tried excuse. to go Arsenal. Chabi Alonso said I wanted to play Hamza, we have to do predictions. 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 We have to do predictions. And those same Enzo and Caicedo came to your backyard Suarez and dunked on you. And they dunked on you at the Etihad as well. About and Chelsea football, football Club that you're flaunting made you cry in Porto. Thomas Tuchel that you're mocking beat you in a Champions League final. Sit on the floor and have some shame. Anyway, now let's get to the prediction segment. Uh, big up to Jay says, Sallu ala afdal khalq Sayyidina Muhammad bin Abdullah. Allahumma salli Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbi ajma'in. Uh, big up to you, JJ. Ash, Mama, uh, listen, we can do it online, Hassan. We can do it online, man. Message a thousand, a thousand people in here, guys. Um, it's predictions o'clock. You know, because I know Jacob has to go in about, what, like eight minutes. So I just want to run through the predictions because I'm going to be real with you. These games, 90% of them are just boring as hell anyway. Like, it's not like we have a lot to, like, unpack or anything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Hamza, Manchester City, fraud, shameless FC. <laughs> Yo, this guy is so shameless, but we love him anyway. Listen, a thousand people in here. We have got 500 likes. Get the, of course, Hussam spun back. You think Hamza has the antidote to me? Bro, I've been cooking this guy three years. Cotiolo says, Hamza, you have um, a yeah, Liverpool cool. agenda, even on your own. Liverpool. You Arsenal used to be supporter. Cotiolo, you know what's funny? If I ask Hamza right now, who worries him more, Liverpool or Arsenal, he'll say Liverpool. He'll say, oh my God, I am scared of Jurgen Klopp. This guy could take the league title from us. They have an easy run, and then he wants to play both sides. You get me? One day Muslim, one day Christian. This Hamza. Anyway, like and subscribe, you guys. So after all this, let me just give my 20-second preview on the Brighton game and then give my prediction because I have to start my own club segment. You know, now we can actually do predictions in peace. You know, after Hamza, I gave him my word. I'm man of my word. You get me? You cut me short. I'll be enjoying so, it. Um, look, Brighton come to, to, uh, to Anfield this Sunday. 
I'm very confident. Uh, obviously, I don't think Brighton are a match for us this Sunday. Mo Salah's back, which is very good news for us. Konate played for France, so it means he should be fit for this game. Uh, I think it'll be a tough game because we haven't beaten the Zerbi yet, but I think we will get over it eventually. And I think Liverpool win this game by three goals to one. Saad, your prediction? Can you uh, can you quickly just put on Mo's, uh, Mo's comment? No, I can't because please, we really have please, to... please, yeah, please, please, just one second, one second, just Mo's comment, please. <laughs> like that made me laugh. There you are. So nobody else laughed. You fucking fraud. Um, yeah, two one to Liverpool. Fifteen two, seconds oh, for Saad. 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 One Saad. to Saad. Liverpool. You say Saad. Two one to Liverpool. Yes. 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 Saad. A big up Mo. That was actually funny. Uh, three one Liverpool. 3-1 LFC. Uh, guys, just out of respect for Jacob, let's try doing this real quick, please. Mo. Sorry, sorry. Jacob. Oh, it's okay. 3-2 Liverpool. 3-2 Liverpool. 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 Okay, Liverpool. Jacob. Liverpool. 3-2. Uh, 3-2 Liverpool. And speaking of Jacob, uh, Jacob, give me a 30-second preview for Spurs Luton and then a prediction. Spurs Luton. Oh, it's a game everyone's been waiting for. The match week that everyone looks forward to. Um, look, the first time we played him, we barely won one nil. I think it was Madison or Mickey Vandeveen. I can't remember. One of them had a goal. And outside of that, we were pretty woeful at home. They're pretty reluctant to just sit back and absorb the pressure and they did it just fine. Uh, but they are going to be missing six players from that starting 11. When we first play them, they are going to have, I think 10 injuries in total. So they're a depleted side. That was already a weak side in, in the grand scheme of things. And we are a, uh, side that's starting to come back to some fitness. Vandeveen is allegedly back. Uh, Richarlison is allegedly healthy. Uh, not that I want to see either one of them in the starting 11, to be honest. I think Dragusin should be able to handle some Luton Town de- attackers. And if he can't, then we have a real big problem on our hands because he's supposed to be the backup. So uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't rush back Vandeveen personally. I hope he doesn't start, but he, he might. I don't know. Uh, in regards to attack, I don't really have much faith in any of the wingers I could name for you. So... Hopefully Sun can get something done. I think we're going to be at home looking to reply. Obviously, 3-0 away at Craven Cottage is not something to sit well for two weeks. But we are at home. I expect these players to not only win, but win comprehensively. So I'm going to say um, I'm going to say a 4-1 Spurs. 4-1 Spurs. Okay, plenty of chess there. Uh, Hamza, give me your prediction. Spurs, Luton. Plenty of chess for someone who just oh, that's asked me now. Spurs are going to win. Easy. 4-0. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mo? 3-1 Spurs. 3-1 Spurs. Uh, Sad? Um, I'm going to go for a 2-2. Desmond. No way. Zizou. 3-1 Spurs. 3-1 Spurs. And you know what? I'm just going to second that result. I'm actually going to go for a 3-1 Spurs. Yeah. Um, Chelsea are at home to Burnley. Ziad, 30-second preview and a prediction, please. Oh, I don't want 30-second preview. I want three-second preview. Just fucking win and that's it. Uh, 2-1 <laughs> Chelsea. 2-1 two, two, Chelsea. Okay. Uh, 2-1. You're going to win against Burnley. 2-1. That's it. Mo, what's your prediction? I mean, we're fucking 11th. What do you want? Burnley are 19th. Oh. I don't get it. We might well, as well be 19th. 3-0 uh, Chelsea. 3-0 Chelsea. Uh, Jack, uh, Jacob. I think... Uh, let's go 4-0 Chelsea. 4-0 Chelsea. Oh. Right? Sad. I was going to pick the same as um, Mo, but... Yeah, so. sorry. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go actually what a for... change. I'm going to go for a 1-1, actually. Um, I think I think the Burn Burnley just yeah, beat uh, they they just beat Brentford, and they drew they drew with West Ham, so I, I listen I think they're gaining a bit of momentum. Okay, I'm gonna go for a three-one Chelsea win. I think Chelsea smash Burnley and Burnley just score one because they play attacking football. Uh, Hamza, what's your prediction? Chelsea Burnley. It's gonna be easy win. Chelsea are gonna win that four 0 three 0 Okay, guys, the rest of the games, none of them are top six games. So I just want prediction. That's it. No life stories. I'm going to start uh, I'm gonna start this one. Uh, Brentford take on Man United. Obviously, Brentford are at home. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Man United win. Sad. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 Manchester United. 2-1 Man United. Ziad. Uh, 3-1 Man United. 3-1 Man United. Mo. 2-2. Damn. Okay. Uh, Hamza. 2-1 Brentford. Okay, Jacob. I think it's 2-2 as well. 
2 2. We stick with, uh, with, with Jacob. He starts the next round. Aston Villa are at home to Wolves. Prediction. Villa not are home to Wolves. Not hope. Predictions, not hope. Yeah, Villa are at home. Nah. Um, Emotions are high. Top four. <laughs> the top four race is heating up. I need Brentford to do something for me with a 2 2. And I'm going to say Wolverhampton need to do something for me as well, but they will fail. And it'll be 3 2 Aston Villa. 3 2 Aston Villa, Mo. 3 1 Aston Villa. 3 1 Aston Villa. Okay. Um, Sad. Uh, I'm going to go for a 2 1 Aston Villa. Hamza. 3 3 1 Aston Villa. Zizou. Well, I don't know who Aston Villa are playing, but 3 1 Aston Villa. 3 1 Aston Villa. Um, Every, everybody, by the way, a lot of people are back for. Yeah. I say 2 2 1 Aston Villa. Yeah. Wait, what do you say? Okay, I'm gonna. I, I, I'm gonna say well, you this. Say this I'm so you say this say... after I put my score on the board. Well, like, I actually it. put put Villa winning more than you, so I'm just telling. And you. Then people are back. So I'm, me, yeah. me personally, I'm going for a two-two draw in this game. This is the downfall. Kunia is back. Lamina's back. If, like they have yeah. people. Like Lamina. Is, is what's his name back? Is what's his Lamina, name back? Lamina, the spirit no, of the no. wolf. Uh, let's uh, start with what comes on this one. Newcastle are at home to West Ham. The first game. Oof. That might be 3-2 Newcastle. 3-2 Newcastle. Zizou. 2-1 uh, Newcastle. 3-2 Newcastle. 3-2 Newcastle. 3-2 Newcastle. 2-2. 2-2. 2-2. He's Mo. too quick, bro. <laughs> I'm on the word. 2-1 West Ham. 2-1 West Ham. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. Too late, I wrote it. 2-1 Newcastle. <laughs> 2-1 Newcastle. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham as well. I believe West Ham will win this game. Uh, okay, I'll start this this one. Uh, Bournemouth are at home to Everton. Has uh, draw written all over it. Good football versus stinky football. 1-1. One, one. Saad? I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Bournemouth. 2-0 Bournemouth. Zizou? Uh, Bournemouth. Yeah, 2-0 two, two Bournemouth. 2-0 Bournemouth. Mo? 2-1 Bournemouth. 2-1 Bournemouth. Uh, Hamza? 2-1 Bournemouth. Uh, Jacob? I think 2-1 uh, Bournemouth as well. 2-1 Bournemouth. 2-1 Bournemouth. Okay. <laughs> this game is a bit uh, more difficult to call. Forest at home to Crystal Palace. Jacob, we start oh with you. Oh, my God. Mm, Forest at home? Yes, to Palace. Literally just two games left, and then we end the video. 2-1. Forest. To one forest. Okay. Uh, Mo? <laughs> uh, one, one. One, one. Sad? Uh, I'm going to go for two, one to forest. Two, one to forest. Boring. Ziad? One, one. Such a fraud. One, one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just give it one more goal, but I'm going for a Desmond two, two draw. Ziad, you start the next round. No. Sheffield United at home to Fulham. I'm being edgy. Who is it, um, two, two nil Fulham. Fulham. Uh, sad. Wait, who are Fulham playing? Who are Fulham playing? Sorry, Sheffield. Sheffield at home to Fulham. Oh Very yeah, easy. yeah. That's three nil, three nil, three nil. Written all over it, bro. Three nil Fulham. Mo. Uh, two one. Fulham. Fulham. Uh, Jacob. Three one Fulham. Three one Fulham. Um, uh, Hamza. Three nil Fulham. I'm the only one here who's going to go against the grain. Fulham are the weirdest team in this whole league. When you expect them to win, they don't. So I'm actually going to go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. Here we that go. Is my it's I actually not a bad shout hate... because, because Fulham, every time that they have less of the ball, they win. And they're probably going to have more of the ball versus Sheffield, yeah. so they're going to lose. That's the trend for Fulham. Those dodgy bastards. Uh, 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 Jacob, don't anyway, do, don't do, to, don't do the logic behind it. This guy's, this guy's a fraud. This guy's a fraud. This some guy's a fraud. I've clocked onto him, bro. Whenever somebody goes, for, whenever the majority does one thing, he always has to be the one guy that's edgy. Oh, let me just go and do the other one. Let me go to the okay, other no side. Problem. Allah, he's, he's, okay, no he's problem. So we all predicted the Chelsea fraud. win. Three of us predicted the draw in the Forest game. Two of us predicted the draw in the Bournemouth Everton game. Yeah, I predicted the Spurs win just like the rest of you. Actually, let's look at who really is edgy here. You get me? This guy went in a draw in the United in the West Ham Newcastle game, only one. He went for a draw in the Chelsea Burnley game, only one. Uh, you know, 
He went for a 2-2 draw Spurs Luton, only one. But I'm supposed to be the one who's edgy just because he made one different prediction. Yeah, be quiet. Big up to Hussein, says cooked. Ramadan Karim, my guys, Hamza and Hussam. What about the rest of these guys? So no Ramadan <laughs> Karim to Saad, no Ramadan Karim to Mo, no, no Ramadan Karim to Ziyad, no Ramadan Karim to Zayn. We can, they can all hold that, you know? I'm not going to read that, that last word, you get me? Because that is a haram word that I will not read because yeah. we don't yeah. associate oh, with right. the devil club when, when the devil is locked. He got me. Oh, <laughs> anyway, guys, um, big up to all of you guys. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button. This has been one hell of a show. This has been absolutely legendary. Too many super chatters to shout out. I'm gonna just shout them out quickly. Maybe like battle rapping here. Um, Luke, Ryan, Joseph, Nilpal, Smoke, James Pond, J Pat, Capo, Ali, Jack, Sharif, uh, Shokar, uh, Seven, JJ, Emmanuel, Made by Mike, Martin, Cotiolo, Redline Faranga, Ben, Winter Surfer, Sam's Die Hard fan, Suleiman, Nate, Frankie, AJ, Finehas, Guapo, and Uber. Big up to all of you guys for the super chats. I love every single one of you guys. We have been having an absolutely legendary, iconic March month. Tomorrow, I have no plans other than United Brentford watch along, inshallah, because there is literally nothing else to do because the Saturday games are crap. So, like the video, subscribe. Make sure you guys go subscribe to all these great guys' channels. Hamza Talks Football, The Football Corner Night 7, you know, United Spurs of America, Ziad Zone, Judge Mo. Big up to all of you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, peace out. Guys, just stay for 10 seconds. I just want to ask you a question.